that. Welcome to Entry Level Moms. Um, I'm Nasra. I'm Sawia. And today we have a very, very special guest. Her name is Ria Allen and she is absolutely incredible. I'm sure you guys have seen her on socials, ranting. And uh, yeah, introduce yourself, Ria. Hi. Oh, that was, that was, that was a nice intro. That Thank was really nice. I feel like you can't hear... I haven't got headphones in anyway. <laughs> Hello, I'm Maria Ellen. Um, I do social media content. I yeah. don't know. I don't like to call myself an influencer because what? You're a mum influencer. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to get into that like mum mm. world, but still trying to do Maria Ellen stuff because yeah. I don't want to be defined yeah. by that. So yeah, I do mum content. I just basically cuss my kids online. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I just basically just talk about things I hate and things that draw me and just everything that people don't speak about. I, I love feel. that. So, yeah. I'm so happy that. to be here. Well, thank when you. When I saw you guys on TikTok, I was like, yeah, this is my kind of content, you know? <laughs> because it's like honest conversation, yeah, you know? Yeah. And when you were talking about losing yourself, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. No, Let me not jump the gun. No, let's definitely get into okay. it. No, 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 I feel like here this was... we just go straight in. Yeah. yeah, I feel like this was written in the stars because mm. you know what's mad? Mm -hmm. When we first started this channel, yeah, and we were thinking about potential guests mm -hmm. and all of that, I said to Nasra, "Do you know who Ria Ellen is?" Yeah, yeah. And you were the first on our list. And oh. then, yeah, and then Nasra was like, "Oh my god, she's so funny! I love her." Blah, I've blah, been blah. following Thank her for guys. how long? Yeah. No. And I was like, <laughs> "We're gonna get Ria Ellen on the pod at some point. Mm. Cool, whatever. We've established that already. Yeah, cool." And then I was trying to like think to myself, "Okay, we follow her on Instagram and TikTok." Yeah, but I don't want to just slide into the DMs mm. and be like, "Hey, join our pod," because no. you don't know who we are. That's yeah. True. So the fact that you found us organically, I know. I you was like, thank you, you God. Yeah, look <laughs> she at that. She found us. Yeah. So I didn't need to like graft you or yeah. like it was ask meant you to be. To it was meant to be. Yeah. It, was it was meant, meant to, to be. be. And and your, I mean, I see podcasts, but I don't really picture myself on them because it's like I can't relay. Even some mum podcasts, I'm like, mm, what they're talking about here, I can't really. That's not really my opinion. Da, da, da. Yes. So when I saw you guys, I was like, nah. It makes sense oh. because oh. you're both just your mums, but you're still doing your thing, yeah. and you're very honest. Yeah. And I think there's not a lot of mums out there that are honest and just real with it. Oh, and thank raw. you. So, no, it means a lot coming yeah. from you, honestly. Thank you no, guys. honestly, it really thank does. You. For thank you, thank you, guys. Keep doing what you're doing, man. We've been ah, trying. Thank you. Honestly, keep doing what you're doing. And if you ever want to come back, of course. Oh, <laughs> come back. You're more of than course. welcome to. You, for real. When honestly. you blow, I'll be like, um, <laughs> hello. I was like on the first one, you know. I was on the episode. You know, you're actually our first, other than Sirius' mum, yeah. our first actual guest. Yeah. Like, a lot of people want to come you. on, yeah. but no one's that serious. Yeah. Because they're mums, innit? Yeah. They're thinking, oh, I don't know, he's got babysitting. Uh, this is the, the timing. Thing. Oh, Mortlake is, I don't know where that is, too yeah. far. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you actually were, like, willing to come. Yes. And I was like, rah. Perfect. I love that. Perfect. In the DMs, I was like, next week? <laughs> Okay, what about the week after? I was literally ready. Like, come on, guys. This girl and her wisdom tooth. No, you Best know what? Best got pushed back after we- I got this. there. Because I was going to ask you how it went. Yo, I got there and then the guy was like, you know, we've never put you here under anesthetic. So we're going to test it out and do fillings instead this time. Is that all right with you? And I was like, so you're not taking well, out my to tooth? Be. I was like, so you're not taking out my tooth? And he was like, no, we'll do that in a month. I was like- for crying out loud. But he was like, seriously, you can't look after your kid for like, he said, minimum 48 hours because okay. you're going to be so out of it. And he didn't lie. Yeah. I thought I was going to be fine 24 hours later and I'm going to be out partying okay. and clubbing and enjoying myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was not the case. That's that good that was he told not the you case. that then. No, I honestly was flatlined yeah. for like two days. I didn't know. Wow. They, it's the it's the IV drip, isn't it? They put it inside. Oh my God. I'm not joking. He told me to count to 10. Before I even got to 10, I was knocked out. It was so good though. I liked it. it must be nice. One. I liked it. Yeah. It's a bit of rest. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Sleep like yeah. without me forcing it. Yeah. It was guaranteed. Great. I woke up mm. fresh. Two days of sleep. They should give that in like a, dr a drink. They should. So I would, I would just <laughs> pop it in my coffee. You know, you know what I mean? The See sleeping ya. pills. Someone asked me the other day, have you got any sleeping pills? I was like, when you find out where you got them, holler at me. You literally. <laughs> no, gas and air. So we are I knocked want, out on gas I and air as well. I want to carry gas and air with me. Yeah. And just, just. Literally. I will happily rob the hospital. Yeah. Who's on it? Oh, I, speaking I, I of gas back. and air. Speaking I of gas and black. air. I'll I'm just... so sorry. Sorry, guys. So my, 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 one of my best friends is about to give birth. Oh, yeah. my. 
she lives in Leicester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to see her on the weekend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me why she's saying that in all the hospitals in Leicester, they, they're not allowing um, women to have gas and air. Like why? They banned it from the hospitals. Why? And they were like, good luck when you guys are getting, giving birth. You're going to have to figure out a different pain relief. Why? Why? I said to her, come to London. Basically, apparently, it's affecting the midwives. So something is leaking and the gas and air is, is affecting the midwives. So oh what do you expect these, these women in labour to do? Midwives are getting waved. So then what, what I would do is, do? on my due date, I'm travelling down to London. Yeah. <laughs> Having a couple of walks down Central, <laughs> hoping that something drops. Oh, snap. Just accidentally. Yeah. Just was missed the yeah, literally, right perfect. There. I'll be outside at UCLH like, oh, God. I think the baby's coming. Oh, no. This wasn't planned. Yeah. Got my suitcase somehow. I, told her, I said, mm. get your ass to London. Yeah, she needs to. You don't know when this baby's going to come. You know, she's way like, she's oh, almost about to give birth. Oh, no. Jesus. I think she's like 38, 39. She's very close. So basically they're forcing you to get the epidural because basically. what are you going to do now? I told her to get yeah. the epidural. Yeah, I said, well, did you ever get the epidural, Rio? No. Neither did I. No, I didn't. I, I Both of them was gas and air, natural. Did the gas and air ever oh, make God. you vomit? No. I, I was waved. It made oh, me vomit I loved like three it. times. Really? I'm so glad. No, but it this is like after vomit. like seven hours of Yeah, of, of having it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't have it long. They wouldn't give it to me. They were just being very stingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? They didn't I don't give know. it to me until I hit like active labor. Yeah, and, and then when they took it off me, I was livid. Yeah. Oh my god! I said, "Give me the canister, let me go. I'll pop it in my bag." <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's it's so, that so saved good. that saved my labor. If I don't know what I would have done without yes. gas and air, honestly. Did you do what I did and try like what it would feel like without the gas and air after you'd already felt it with the gas and air? Did they take no? I had like one contraction where I was like, oh, I wonder how bad it is after. Yeah. And I was like, I just didn't use the gas and air. And I was like, ah, this is crazy. why did I not? Yeah. I was in so much pain. It was like 15 times worse. Oh like yeah. it was God. so bad. Yeah, yeah, because you don't realize, you think it's just like, it's just a bit of gas. Like mm -hmm. it's mentally making me feel like I'm not feeling the pain, mm -hmm. but it actually is. It helps. It's, it's like, crazy. you can still feel the pain in the background, but like you're high at the same time. Yeah. So you'd it's rather like be high. It's like your head somewhere else. So yeah. you're not focusing on the pain. You'd rather be high yeah. and be sober and feel it 100%. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? After I felt it that one time, I was like, nah, 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 nah. Bring back the gas in Literally. <laughs> At least you know that it's like working. No, I knew. Yeah. Oh, it was so much better with the gas in yeah. The midwife could hear me abusing it and I could hear her in the other room going, we need to take it off her. She's abusing it. She's using it when there's no contraction. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the machine beeping. There's no contraction. And then, I'll, and then she came to me, she was like, excuse me, you're using it when there's no contraction. And I was like, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. And then as soon as she left. <sighs> because it helps you to breathe. I feel like it helps you to breathe yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. And it changed my voice leading, completely. Oh my gosh, it changed my voice. Yeah. Was it deep? You know, like, I deep, still deep. have like, oh. sometimes I have moments where I remember like them checking, <laughs> you know, after you give birth and they check you over and they're like two, four, five, four, they're, like counting numbers <laughs> of your vagina. God knows what they're doing. But <laughs> I still have flashbacks of them like two, five, five. Yeah, tier one, tier five. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and I can hear me saying, am I okay? <laughs> Is everything okay? I still have flashbacks about that. Listen. With your voice sounding like a man. Literally. Yes. And I'm like, who is that speaking? It's me. And everything was slowed down as well. Yeah. Like I was watching my mum just yeah. walking across yeah. the room. And I'm just like, pass me the gas. Literally. Yeah. And then she's passing it to me and I'm it's like this. crazy. And then as soon as I like suck on the gas and air, I was telling Nasser about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It felt like, you know, these white lights. Yeah. All I saw was white in yes. my head. And I could hear circus music. Yeah. Oh my, can you imagine? What circus music. Yeah. The whole time I was all <laughs> <going on. laughs> Yeah, literally. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> Clowns juggling. I, I thought <laughs> I was, you know, when they say I can see the light, I'm yeah. going to the light. Oh, like, so we I'm are dying. dying. That, I, I genuinely thought I can't come back from this. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. My mum was saying, world. yeah, at one point I had like one single tear coming down my face. I was just half dead, honestly. Yeah. I would. I thought I, was, I thought I was going to meet my Lord. No, me as well. I told my mum at one point, I said, Mum, today's my last day on this planet. Mm. <laughs> Just tell everyone I love them. <laughs> like, for real. I said, tell everyone to forgive me if I've ever offended them. Yeah. I'm dying today. Mm. I said, today's the day. It's, I'm finished today. It's, yeah, it's, it's an out of day. body experience. Completely. Yeah. I was so like, con like convinced that I was dying. Yeah. And she was like, no, don't say that. I said, listen, I've made peace with it. <laughs> Just tell everyone I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I've accepted it. Have accepted it. Look no, after my kid. No, no, no. People oh die during God. childbirth. Yeah. Yeah. They do. It's not so far fetched. It's yeah. not at all, especially black women. It's a. It's actually a blessing Ooh. to come out of childbirth. Mm-hmm. Like to actually give birth to to the baby. The baby's healthy. You're healthy. Mm-hmm. You're able to actually leave the hospital. Both of you. Yeah. It's a blessing. And How I think many women don't some people make it don't. Out? Yeah. I don't think. Pe- I don't think we deep because I. I think having my sons, I was just like, you know, it happens. You know, you have your baby, you leave. But no. no. Imagine still births. It's a blessing. And don't. Don't. Being pregnant nine months and then. Don't. Yeah. Nah. Uh, so we are. Someone actually was home. on my TikTok the other day, and she was like, "Oh, I love your podcast," um, but um, I, I've been watching it while I was pregnant, and then I had a stillborn. And I was actually on live, like, I was like, am I about to cry right now? Like, I'm about to cry right now. I had to, like, compose myself. Yeah. And I was just kept saying, I'm Bless so her. sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Like, I just, I, I can't, I don't know, man. Coming home to all of the stuff that your baby was supposed to have on. The cot yeah. ready the and court. everything. That's, that's very, I can't very imagine it because yeah. you're, you're, your body's still going through postpartum, but there's yeah. no baby. Yeah. So you're still going to be bleeding for Literally. weeks. Literally. Your breast might start leaking. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's so hard. Literally. I can't even imagine. So it's it's a blessing. Or everything is, is, is just even coming home from like being out with them is a blessing. Mm. Them waking up in the morning is a blessing. Just even cot death. Some people take their kid home. Bruh. Yeah. And there's there's a cot death. Yeah. That's mad. And you can have everything set up in the cot how you're supposed to and and it could still it could you still just happen. Never so know, yeah. Man. It's really sad. Scary stuff. Yeah. It really is. Ooh. Um so now that uh, let's just move on from this um, mm. topic because mm-hmm. it's gonna make me really sad. Yeah. Me too. Um, so Ria, you are a mother of two. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, no, sorry, because I'm such an unserious person. <laughs> yeah, you are. <coughs> That's why we have you. Sorry, on. because when people say that, I think, am I? We're not. That's s- hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me in charge of two. My sorry. Goodness. Listen, listen. Who listen. put you in charge? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I look around the house. I'm like, people are asking me questions. You know what's mad? What? Sometimes even my sister, she looks at me and she's like, how are you a mum? Yeah. I'm like, I can't even believe it as you well. You don't know how many people say I that to me. I don't know how I'm a mum. So many people say yeah. that to me. They're like, you're the most unserious person I know. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's, how are you to me, that's a, a positive. It is, 100%. It is, yeah. Because motherhood can make you become so serious and so, yeah. like, you obviously you lose yourself in motherhood. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if you're still able to laugh and just be jokey and silly and how you was before in some way... I think that's a positive. I totally agree. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it only took me two years to get there. But yeah, yeah. I'm here now, innit? Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah. But you you basically, you had two under two now, all right? So obviously, Ooh. me and Nasra, we don't know how it's like to have a second one. Mm. We're out here with just one daughter each. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and you're the perfect person to talk to us about transitioning from one child to two. Yeah. Please tell us. Please. Um, Sorry, this is just. <laughs> I'm just think remembering, like after I had my second, yeah. and just it's just making me laugh. But in the moment, it wasn't funny. <laughs> Nobody was laughing. Nobody was laughing. It was very, very dark. It's very, very, not very. Funny. Do you know what I mean? We have to. But now that I'm out of it, I can laugh. Yeah. But in the moment, <laughs> somebody take these kids away. You know? Just know that I'm not laughing at you. I'm. Lo- it's a trauma laugh. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's trauma. Laugh. I'm laughing nervous from laugh. trauma. Is, yeah, it's a nervous yeah. laugh. It's, it's a very anxious one. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so I had two under two. Yes, how old was your first son right. when you got pregnant? Right, so my first son when I got pregnant was, uh, gosh, when I had my... So he was about, about a year and two months, mm. I think. Wow. Yeah, so he was still a wow. baby. Like, he was still... Was he walking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he... he my first son was walking from like nine months. Nice. Yeah, nine, ten wow. months. Um, crawling from like seven months. So he... My daughter's he a lazy shit, man. Literally. Bro. No, don't say that. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, man. I'm joking. Do you know what it is? I Because I get loads of moms that say that. Like, when I go to staying plays and stuff, they look at my second born and they're like, oh my God, he's so... Because he's one... He's like this big. Yeah. He's literally <laughs> teeny, but so strong in his legs. Runs everywhere. Like, oh. And people look at me and they're like, oh my God, like my child is so lazy. And I'm like, listen, <laughs> do no. Because my son from nine months was active from the yeah. moment he started crawling was on one up the stairs yeah. in things Goodness me. like you don't yeah. have that baby anymore yeah. because they become like They're toddlers from nine months yeah. like and it's hard yeah because they don't stop <laughs> yeah. so my son like will run and he's so far he's so small but so fast <laughs> so it just it, it makes you have to like keep up with them yes. from nine months 
and I you know. don't have that like oh like the work starts earlier from nine months, bro. The, the, the stress the cradling and I didn't the, get any of that with my second no Damn. anyway so see I go off on a tangent every single time <laughs> right so yeah so he was about yeah a year and two months and um when I had him when I had my second my first was turning two in two months so I had just about two under two wow and yeah it was hmm. transitioning to two was actually the hardest thing i've ever had to do my whole entire life is it true that is it true when people say going from one child to two is harder than zero yes. to one yes Yes. Please explain. Right. Because you know what I have in when, my head. I'm on. thinking. I've been lying like to I'm. I'm so used to changing nappies already. Mm. Like I'm so used all to doing of all of that. All is it. is second nature. Like, yeah. I can literally sometimes I'll go into my in my kid's room and change my second born's nappy with my like the, the with lights your are eyes off. closed. Yeah, yeah. I can literally. Yeah, but so, do you, and I would even know that he needs pseudocreme without even looking at his bum. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. Um. So stuff like that is second nature. Like mm-hmm. all of that. It's having a toddler. And a newborn, that's hard. Ooh. Because my my firstborn was still so young, wasn't really communicating properly, wasn't really saying to me, Mommy, I'm tired, I'm hungry, da 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 da. I see. So you're dealing with the tantrums. You're dealing with not being able to communicate. You're dealing with he's still a baby. We haven't even done potty training. If I get onto potty training, listen, I will listen, 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 listen. Hey, hey, hey. Please, hey. please, 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 please. I'll leave. We'll just the, please, please, we'll just please, see please, the door please, swing. Please, please. Trauma. I'll leave. Trauma.com. Please, I'll leave. Please, please, please. We'll talk about it. We're not going to talk about that one right now. We will. I can't. Because I, I know you mentioned I your, what your daughter's doing. Because, and I was watching, thinking, when I get onto the podcast, I'm going to remember speaking my mom. Please, please, please. But that in itself, potty training, no. It's a hell no from me every single time. Why don't they make adult nappies? Because I don't oh. mind. He could be five, six. They wear nappies. I am dreading because I'm it. Not... I'm dreading the potty train. I didn't, five, I didn't even start yet, bruv. We'll get on to it. I didn't, I didn't get there yet. Potty train is It's nah. the ghetto. It's the, the devil. It's the get The patience that you have to have. No, I'm so... <laughs> I have to laugh because, excuse me. <laughs> is your firstborn potty train now? Yes. Okay. But let me, I'll get into it. Okay, okay. To give you some hope. Okay. Ooh. Because... Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So, um, yeah, all of that second nature, the nappy changing, all of that stuff is second nature. Like I said, it's the communicating. You're trying to have to, you're in two different worlds in motherhood. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you're having to do with your toddler and then you're in the newborn. If you're trying to breastfeed, oh. you're in that. You're, you're, your baby's still sleep. not sleeping. Yeah. Sleep deprived. You're sleep deprived. You're up, you're up On top of hours. having a baby who's having He's a tantrum. Screaming. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm so glad I had them together. Okay. But if I went back, I probably would have them as close as I did because I just think, bang it out, I ain't got time. I'm already mm. tired. Do you mm. know what I mean? Mm. But then at the same time, I completely understand when people say they only want one and done, firstly. Like, you know when people say one and done? Yeah. I get it. I get it. Because it's <laughs> like, if you're happy with one and you don't see yourself going back there, then embrace that. I think That's what I'm sh- I, I, there's the pressure. I'm leaning towards that. Like, embrace it. I, I think towards- it's not fair. The way that people, like, the way that society puts pressure on mums to be like, oh, you've got one, when are you going for another? Oh, not even just that. Like, when are you going to give them a sibling? Yeah. Instantly. They need a sibling. And literally, and, 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 then, and then if you've got a girl, it's like, are you going to go for a boy? And if you've got a boy, are you going to go uh, for a girl? How am I supposed to know? Is it up to me? The gender that I'm going to have. My cousin I mean? had three boys, and yeah. then everyone's like, are you going to do She's like, no. My mother in law got about five a girl anymore. boys. My mother-in-law's got five boys. Wow. So when I found out I was pregnant, I knew they were boys. Because I've got two sisters. I'm outnumbered. What, what am I doing it's now? It's true, yeah. Why am I going to sit with my legs up and be like, it's a girl? Yeah. I know. Even my second. I was like, he's a boy. <laughs> it's silly for me to be like, oh, is it a girl? Because he's got too much pressure. Uncles he's on got bare uncles. It's just crazy. Um, so, yeah, d- just the transition was crazy. Like trying to breastfeed when you've got a toddler. Mm. He also needs you because my toddler wasn't in nursery yet either. That's another reason why I sent him to nursery. Yeah. Because I was like, how am I going to be on maternity leave with a toddler and a newborn? And obviously, my husband was working full time. So it's like, I'm home with both of them. I'm like, well, something's got to give. I need to take stress off somewhere. Yeah. So when he was one and a half, I was like, nursery, see ya. So he went for three days. Bloody expensive though, isn't it? Don't. Don't get me started on the prices. If I literally... They are mean to you know, their parents, You know when I parents, get the bro. invoice, I warm. Like... Yeah. 
the food, I can feel it. Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, are you? A grand. I'm paying a grand, 1,160. Yeah, for how many? For, how many? for three days yeah. a week, mm-hmm. Wednesday to Friday. Yeah. And all I'm really paying for is Jenna coughing because she's just been coughing since she started nursery. Literally. She's been How many sick days does she go? She goes Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, same. That's how that's how my son started, yeah. And all she does is come home sick. Yeah. So. And then do you know what really takes the pee? Well, you can say the piss when, word. No, I just, I don't know. I feel like oh, the we, pee we, sounds we, like we really. We say everything. The piss. <laughs> with capital P-I-S-S. <laughs> is the filtering in stage you know like when they mm. first start nursery and they're hardly going because they're like yeah just a couple of hours here a couple uh, of hours yeah. there yeah. yeah so it's like so where's the discount code madam <laughs> yeah because the first month you've hardly seen you've hardly seen my kid mm-hmm. i've had them more than you have and i'm still paying the full price <laughs> that's mad excuse me so now i drop my son when the nursery opens and when the nursery closes because yeah. i'm not doing this you I'm have to get it. the full day yeah yeah 100 and he cries and they're like they call me and they're like oh he's a I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. He cries all the time. Do your job, because I'm paying you. <laughs> Why are you calling me? Unless you're in A&E, yeah. I don't Wait, care. You Does know your nursery, facts. Hold on, facts. hold on. Do they call you when your son's crying? Yeah. For what when reason? I drop him off and he's crying, right? They will call me and be like, oh, by the way, like, he's okay. <laughs> Sometimes I look at the phone and I'm like, I'm not answering because it's clear. Why, why are you calling me? Just to let you know, he's actually stopped crying. He's fine now. He's playing with his friends. And I, I want care. to be like, oh, sorry, who is this? Because I'm actually got things to do. I'm like, of course he's fine. He's a child. And when I pick him up, he doesn't want to leave. They, he's fine. It's funny. They probably think you're worried. You literally. Is he crying? So they're thinking, let's call her to let yeah, her know. Yeah. But these times. I understand why. And it's just like, okay, cool. Obviously, it's nice. You know, <laughs> to, nice. yeah. Ria's but, like, but I am already shit. Literally, I'm already in Westfield. I don't <laughs> care. I'm already shopping. Sometimes things pop up on the app and I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I've got children. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my God, that happened. You know what? You lot are going to actually think I'm mad. I have an alarm to pick her up. Cause sometimes I forget. No, I hear <laughs> like, that. I forget no, that I, I have it. a child no. sometimes. I that, no, but that's lovely. That's nice that you feel like when you're not with them, you have that time yeah. to kind of be on your own and do what you're doing. Yeah. Because even when you don't have them, you're stressed. I completely forget that yeah. I have a kid. Sometimes I'm like, oh, what's that alarm for? And I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. 2.45? Literally. Need to go pick up my kid. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Mad, 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 that's mad. how it is. But um, yeah, the transition, yeah, the transition was was really was hard um, because breastfeeding also wasn't how it was for me the first time. Okay. Um, I I lasted to the year, thank God. But like, you know, like your milk supply is different because you're stressed because you're dealing with the new the toddler, mm. having time to pump because you've got a toddler, the house still needs cleaning. There's all these things that don't stop. Yeah. And I feel like when you have a newborn, I feel like, you need that time to just focus on the child, but you can't. Even if you live at home with your parents, mm. you still like, there's still things that you need to do. There's still people asking you questions about things that, like life doesn't stop. You still have to pay your bills, all these things. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you're just adding wow. motherhood onto the roller coaster in your brain. That's mad. And it's just constant, just constant. So- When you put it like that, that sounds mad. Yeah. yeah. So it was, re- it was really hard, but- The maddest thing for me is, yeah. When you have a newborn, mm. with our first, like when we give birth for the first time, we only focus in on one baby. Yeah. Yes. So like, we could just sleep whenever the baby sleeps. Yeah. But when you have a toddler, no. When do you get to rest? No. Like don't. let's say the newborn is sleeping for a couple of hours. Yeah. Toddler's still awake though. Yeah. So how how did you so find what I would, rest? So what I would try and do is try and put down the baby, the newborn, when my toddler's nap time is, just to guarantee that like even if my newborn sleeps for like 45 minutes. At least I know I don't have a, both kids for 45 minutes. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And when they're newborn, it's easy. Yeah. I feel like looking back, it's easy when it's newborn because it's just like, what do they do? Sleep, eat, poo, sleep, change, nappy. Just a, you can put them in like a chair. They don't move. They don't go anywhere. Literally, anywhere. it's fine. So it's kind of like I had that peace of mind where yeah. I thought, okay, if the baby does wake up, I can put him in his sling or I can put him, I can put him in his swing or in a sling or do you know what I mean? When then, like, for example, now, yeah, I was gonna my toddler ask you, doesn't how nap. How is it now? My toddler doesn't nap. How old is he? He's three. So I've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old now. Mm. Um, so he doesn't nap. <laughs> so, but luckily he's at nursery full-time now. Nice. 
thank God, since January. Um, but before then, like you said, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was at nursery, but mm. the Monday and Tuesday, the anxiety I used to have, knowing that I'd have two kids at home. Bruh. And obviously like now my husband, luckily he, like he's in business with himself. So he's at home more dinner. But around that time that, you know, both kids were home, it was usually just me home with both of them. So it would be like, oh my God, what I'm going to do with them? We need fresh air. We need to get out. Because me, a lot of people, are, a lot of moms are different. I have to get out of the house. Really? Yeah. I wish I was I like you. I have to get out the house. Me, no, I'm but, afraid no, but, of going outside. No, but it's mentally it's not good yeah. to, to feel yeah. like you have to get out because then there's the pressure of, we have to get out of the house. We have to get out of the house. We have to get out of the house. Oh. And then it's like, if we don't, it's like, I failed. Oh. You know, obviously like looking back, I, now I don't have mom guilt. I don't care. Me as well. Okay. Me as well. But when they, when I first had my second, I was like putting so much pressure on myself. Like I need to get out of the house to do, because mentally I have to get fresh air mm -hmm. with both of them running around. It's just too much, it's just too much. So I had a moment when I took both of them to the park, <laughs> took both of them to the park and I had my newborn in a sling and my, my other son was in that stage where he doesn't listen, still doesn't listen. Oh yeah. Yeah. So when I'm telling him to hold my hand, he's running off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm at that stage yeah. now, but yeah. Yeah, it gets mm -hmm. easier. Yeah. <laughs> but he was in the stage where he fully doesn't listen. Hold my hand. He would just run off, but like full speed sprinting. So imagine I've got my, my second son in a sling and my my other son runs off, right? Can't even but like he's it. running off to like near the gates, traffic, running off to traffic. Oh my goodness. So I had to hold my, 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 hold the newborn's head and sprint. And then I pulled him back and I said to myself, I'm sweating. Because, you know, after you have a child, you're drenched, you're sweating, you're constantly hot. And breastfeed, just, the list goes on. Ooh. And I literally pulled him back. And I, that's when I said to myself, Ria, you're putting too much pressure on yourself. It's enough. Like, yeah. going out of the house on your own in the park, it's just not making sense. With two kids. With yeah, two kids. It's on. just not making sense. So then I kind of took a step back and was like, listen we're in survival mode now. I do what I have to do to get through the day, get through the hours of the day. So yeah, oh, I totally it's crazy. That. I'm, I I'm that parent as yeah. well. I will do what I have to do. I don't give a shit. Literally. Like I've stopped caring. You have to caring. get to that point, yeah. Mum guilt, out the window. Literally. I don't care anymore. Literally. I actually just don't yeah. care. She's gonna be, you know what I realized is well, she's gonna be fine. She's going to be fine. It's just like, our, in, we're in our own heads, yes. you know? And then the overthinking and like all these things that are just going on, 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 and on, and yeah. on. Like it will drive you crazy. Yes, it will. It will literally drive you And do you, you know mad. what? I always think to myself, like, you're not an octopus. There's only so much that you can do. You've only got two hands. You've only got two hands. And also if mentally you're not in a good place, it's going to be impossible to do what you need to do. The, the list that you've put in your head of, I need to do that. If mentally you're in a dark place, it's going to be impossible yep. to do it. And that's okay. Like it's actually okay to just survive the day and that's it. And then I think like for us, like obviously our community is very judgy. Yes. Like We're our in community, a very judgmental time. It's mad. Yeah. Like our, especially our community, they don't understand, yeah. you know, like just the fact that I've survived the day, I'm proud of that yes. accomplishment. Yes. They don't understand that. Yeah. They're like, but you didn't do this, but you didn't do that, yeah. but you didn't do that. Yeah. Mental your kid health looks, is like Your kid looks mad, taboo. but this and yes. that. They don't talk about mental health like that. Because back in the day, people are talking about it. Nobody now. was talking about it. And yeah. it's like, I think a lot of the time, like our elders would be like, well, I survived. Yeah, but mentally, where was you at? Mentally, you was you was probably suicidal, you know? No, Very 100%. You just, you, know? did, you just didn't know what was you going did, on. Yeah, you didn't yeah. know what was going on. And you thought that's what came with having kids. No. It's not normal. It's not supposed to be like that. It's not normal. It's not normal. Like the moment you feel that way, you need to check in with your people around you or go to therapy. Yes. You know? And I think in a way it's like, there's just so much pressure. Every single time like your child gets older, the milestones and everything, you're trying to keep up with like, what's she supposed to be doing now? She's two. Is she supposed to be holding a fork on her own? Is she supposed to do this? It's a constant like, is she supposed to be Is she supposed to be eating popcorn? Like it's constant. So it's like, you have to just do what you can. With me, I just get to nap time. <laughs> when I wake up, I'm like, I'm getting that. to nap time. Obviously my career doesn't sleep, but my other son, I'm like, we're getting to nap time. And then when we get to nap time, we'll see where I'm at. I love because that. Because I'm not doing till like the whole day because every hour, every 25 minutes, 45 minutes is different. It's actually, even my mum, she's struggling right now. Whenever yeah. she looks after my one, yeah. she's three as well. Yeah. 
and she's like, I can't do this. The the, the tantrums, I can't. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I deal with that every day, like Literally. 10 times a day. And if, and if anything, the tantrums are worse because they're with us. When, yeah. when they're with mum, it's, they're like they it's don't way care. yeah it's way worse they literally yeah. don't care you know they reach that point where like this is my mum I'm literally. gonna do whatever I want literally. I'm gonna bug out however I yeah. wanna bug out yeah cause I Everyone was trying to look, look at them it. like yeah Wee. yeah <laughs> I tried to look at that as a positive. Like yeah. the tantrums, I used to get really, really upset. Like really triggered yeah. by my three-year-old. Like, bro, you're doing this on purpose. Like, do you hate me? Like, are you doing it on purpose? Oh. But then I had to think to myself, I'm his safe space. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm his safe. He knows that he can be his authentic self around me yeah. and I will still love him. I'll still da 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. So trying to switch that mindset of like, also, this is what kids do. Yep. And I think sometimes, like, you know, when you hear people say, like, oh, my child didn't do that. My child didn't do that. I, my, you know, and it's like every toddler has a tantrum. Some are more extreme than the others. They still have they still have tantrums. Have and tantrums. it's part of their development. Development. Yeah. They have to have tantrums. They have to. They, they, a lot of the time, they can't communicate. Yeah, exactly because they it. get into a stage where they can't really talk. Yes. They can only say They can't put words. the words together. They can't put the words together. Yeah. So their only way of coping is like by screaming yes. and like throwing themselves on the floor because yes. they get frustrated. Yes. Also, you're forgetting that grown ass, big ass adults can't control their emotions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you expect somebody who's only been on this planet Literally. for three years to be able to control Literally. their anger or their upset or their yeah. emotions? Yeah. Like I've seen adults, grown ass, big mm -hmm. ass people who mm -hmm. cannot control their anger. Yeah, you see yeah. people who come into random co like coffee shops and just shout at the staff because yeah. they're angry, or you or you see people with their face push up, whatever. Because or you go to work and then somebody had something that happened at home. Yeah, and then they've taken their anger to work yeah. and now they're fuming at everyone yeah. else at work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Adults can't control themselves. Yeah, you really can't expect a. And you have to kid. remember that first year before they turn one is not even like. Nothing's even really happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, they've only just started to figure out, wow, like I'm actually living. Like, <laughs> oh, this is, you know what I mean? Navigating the world. So yeah. it's like, to have so much expectations for them is crazy. Like, I literally just take my son for what it is every day. Same. Literally. He's having a tantrum. I'm like, what do you need? We try and do the gentle. No, the, the gentle parenting. I say that in speech marks because it's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't call it gentle. I just call it just being there really just oh. trying to make my son know that i'm there and it's okay to be sad it's okay to yeah. cry like i never want him to be like like feel like he can't cry you know or or, oh, or show emotion you yeah. know especially yeah. for, for boys as well so i would just say what do you need do you need a hug and sometimes we're past that sometimes he's just rolling on the floor screaming yeah and i let him have it sometimes have time. I say, Can, do you want me to give you a hug and Literally. she's like no <laughs> and i'm like Okay. Literally. Take what your do you time. Want me to do? Yeah. No, you know it Enjoy. actually. No, it actually it hurts my soul. Because my daughter, she says no with Vim now, mm. and like sometimes it's like I'll give her like a banana, or I'll give her something like I'll give her one of her favorite snacks. Yeah. And she'll be like, no. <laughs> and she'll run off, and I'm just like, that that's was, my three. That was that's so rude. <laughs> Let me tell you, it gets it gets ruder. It gets worse, yeah. <laughs> because my three year old will, I hold his hand, he'll say, "Get off me, mommy." Oh, yeah. get off me. He says, get off me. Move. He tells me to move. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, do you know what? You're three. I'm giving you a year. Because when you hit four, we're going to have to have a chat about that. Because <laughs> that's cheeky. So I say, that's not how you speak to mummy. You know, hurting my feelings. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm like, are you freaking crazy? Are you dumb? I piss. put you on this <laughs> earth, bro. Like. No, imagine they were here for three years. And they already say move. Yeah. And that's, like, that's why I say me. to him, yeah, he says, get off me. <laughs> like, I'll be walking to the car with him. He'll be like, get off me. <laughs> and you don't have to look around. Like, People could be like, is she no, stealing I'm a, this kid no, from? No, because I'm a dickhead. Because I'm, I'm the dickhead. Yeah, no, it's fine. Like, no, it's I'm honestly, not, I'm, not kidnapping. I'm the most, I say this all the time in my house. Like, I'm like, I'm the most disrespected person in this house. Because nobody yeah. listens to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I just like, sometimes I'll be running right. And I'll be like, stop it, stop jumping. And they'll both look at me and say no. And I'm like... I'm a dickhead. No, at least I don't even fight it. I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Do what you want, guys. At this point, I'm real. not in control in this house. At this point, you just both do what pay you the want. rent. You're the landlord. Do yeah. do what you need. You know, it's mad. let me know when you're done, and we'll just <laughs> we just have a chat. Yeah. So you know what Hannah's been doing to me lately, I'd be like, we're at the road. Hold my hand. She'd be like, walk by myself. And Independence. I'm like, Literally. This is the road. Yeah. You need to hold my hand. Literally. Mummy, walk. She'll do this. 
walk by myself. Why do they do that? Walk by myself. Yeah. My three year old does this. Yeah, she'd walk by myself. Yeah. I give him dinner, he goes, No, thank you. <laughs> so he's being polite, but it's you've got to talk about the tone. Mm. No. No, thank you, mummy. I'm like, <laughs> you're basically swearing. That tone, you Could basically you just tell me you, to fuck you, Literally, off? basically, in toddler. <laughs> okay. So I just turn around and just carry on my day. That is jokes. <laughs> just there's no respect. But I told, yeah, he's free. So I told him. You've got I a really couple thought, of months. I really thought they calmed down when they hit three. No. I thought, you know, this whole time they, I thought they do- terrible twos is just that one year. No. 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 And then as soon no. as they hit three. No. Hannah's terrible two started at one. I was just about to say that. Yeah. It started at yeah, eight. My yeah. one, my one year old's going for it now. He throws himself on the floor. He screams. Yeah. He says no. Yeah. He's one. Hannah as well. Yeah. It yeah. My daughter's tantrums. One. It started. It started. I think in the last three months. She's gonna yeah. be. She's gonna be two next month. Mm. Oh so the gosh. closest she got to two, yeah. Do you know? Have you noticed that every mind. year, like when it's like near their birthday, they have some sort of a. They're going through something. Yeah. Like they have a little bit of a mental yeah. breakdown yeah. towards their birthday. Yeah. But don't we all? And then a couple we, of, yeah, then a exactly. couple of weeks later, a couple of months later, they're fine. Yeah. And I'm like, what's going on near your birthdays where you're actually moving mad? Yeah. I, I'm like that. No way. Because my birthday's in January. Around December, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm just, yeah. I'm depressed. Your birthday's in January. Wow. Jan, long. yeah. yeah. So is my daughter's. Yeah, that's the end long. of Jan. I can't lie. So that's why, like, I'm like, I, there's people who have their birthdays and go into the deep depression. I used to cry every day, yeah. like every night before yeah. my birthday, yeah. every year, sorry. Yeah. The why? night before How my come? birthday, I'd cry. I don't know why, I just felt like, because I asked myself, um, what have you accomplished for yeah. the last year? Like, yeah. where, where's your life taking you for yeah. the last what year? Like, actually doing? What have you really done yeah. that's of like significance? Yeah. And then that would upset me and then I'd cry. Yeah. But ever since I had my kid, every year after that, I'm like, but I survived the last year, honestly, bro. That's an accomplishment. Honestly, I need yes. to be happy. I'm yeah, smiling. Yeah, yeah. I survived. It's crazy how your life kid. just takes a 360 mm-hmm. when you have kids. Like your outlook on life, like things that you used to care about. Don't, I yeah. don't have any feeling towards now. It's mad. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And it's that's also a positive. It is. I remember the first birthday after I had Hannah, I was like, woo. I gave birth without epidural. Mm. So I'm not gonna be upset this year. Yeah. And then the year after that, I was like, whew, I just went for a divorce. I'm happy. Mm. <laughs> and then the year after that, which was literally just a, a few months ago, I was like, bro, I've been a single parent for a whole year. That's a oh. bloody good accomplishment. Honestly. So now I'm like, there's no reason for me to cry. That I'm is doing amazing. You are. And I feel like it. You're doing better than you even realize. Honestly. Because what happens is, because we've been mums for so long, because you say, you say two years but or three years, but that's a long time. Three years it's is a, a long, very long time. I've been telling her from zero to one. Yeah. It felt like 10 years. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. But you look at them and you're like, you're growing so quick, but it yeah. feels like it's been ages. They say the it's days crazy. are short, but the, no, the years are short, but the days are long. Yeah. The nights are long, oh bro. God, the night. Nights are long, years are short. Are your kids sleeping through the night? Oh, my night. Um, been, alhamdulillah. Thank really? Thank God. Yeah, my really? daughter started moving mad. Mm, last, couple, last couple of months she's waking up a couple of times mm. and i've kind Sorry. of noticed the pattern mm-hmm. um if she doesn't take a nap during the day if she doesn't nap she will wake up three four times overnight okay. that's why every day we've got to make sure between midday and like two o'clock mm. she needs to be asleep mm-hmm. 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 Because once she takes a nap, she's not going to treat sleep time yes, as a nap. Yes, uh-huh. she will just sleep the whole night. And sometimes they're overly tired Took as well. Me months to figure out. Yeah. Oh my god. I was thinking, why? What's going on? When What's they're going on? Why does she wake yeah. up? You know, yeah. when they're overtired, everything goes wrong. Yes. I told the nursery. I said she needs a nap. Yeah. Tell her it's nap time. Give her her teddy. She will nap. Yeah. Aww. A couple times I go pick her up. And they're like, sorry, she she didn't she didn't want to sleep. Yeah, I'm that's like, what. There's that's, too much stimulation. That's what was happening I'm with like, my she's son. She's gonna wake up at two o'clock. Yeah, she's gonna wake up at two, and she does it every single night. Every yeah. time she doesn't take a nap, she wakes up. She will be chilling on our bed for like two hours. Mm. Damn. Um, that's so. what was happening with my son. They were like, yeah, we tried to make him sleep, but he just didn't want to sleep. Because what happens is, if their close friends as well don't sleep, mm. they want to follow their friends yes. as well. Exactly. So it's like, imagine at this age, can you imagine? You get the chance to sleep for free. I will come to the nursery and nap for him. What do you mean? <laughs> oh my How you? This is what's mad, yeah. As huh? a child, you used. 
Bro, every time my parents said go upstairs and sleep, it was like the worst thing. Yeah. I wanted to stay downstairs and watch TV yeah, and stay up. Yeah, because I'm missing all the fun. Yeah. Now, I don't give a fuck what's on. Literally. I'm running to my I don't bed. Care. So I'm running to my bed. I'm we so, so excited. We don't even watch Netflix, bro. The other Sometimes day. Sometimes I don't even have dinner. Sometimes I just go oh, to bed. I go to are. bed for dinner. Yes. Because I'm like, I'm so tired cooking. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah. Oh. I'm lying, actually. I, go, I have dinner. Or I wake up at I three was, and I'm nah. like, what's to eat? Yeah, yeah. at three o'clock in the morning, your yeah. stomach is like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I can't lie. I can, and I'll be I can making sleep. a bagel. I can sleep through my hunger. <laughs> I'll, I'll choose sleep over our food. You know? No, because if I try that's to go crazy. sleep, that's mad. That's mad. That's mad. When I sleep, I don't feel hunger. So yeah, that's mad. If I go sleep, yeah, I'm one of those people that wakes up like yeah. three times in the middle of the night to go yeah. to the toilet. Yeah. So I'll wake up and then my stomach will go, Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, now I have to stay awake. Yeah. And then I lose my sleep because now I have to go eat. Yeah. And then after I've eat. eaten, unless I overeat and get the <laughs> itis, yeah, which I don't want to do because then I won't be able to sleep, right? I you have, have to, to find it in between. Yeah. And then I have to try to go back to sleep yeah. and actually You're doing put too much. myself it's crazy. to sleep. So yeah. now you have to nah, eat long, the perfect long, long, amount. Long. Yeah. Because you don't want to now bloat yourself. Yeah. But I have to also be awake enough That's why to it's eat the perfect ba- you amount. You have to have a bagel and it? a packet of crisps and like a, something sweet. That's a good little, it's like a packed lunch. Interesting. <sighs> bagel slap. I love a good bagel, me. And you see at 3 a.m. I'll stand next to the toaster like that. Waiting like it's not 3 a.m. Get the lure pack, sort it. Ooh, pack it, Chris. It's done pack now because you know cost of living. Oh my god, it's done pack. We Do don't know. Have the other day pack. I saw the lure oh, pack. It was like this grand. big. It was this big, seven pack. grand, definitely. And then I saw the big one of like the utterly butterly, and it yeah. was like one pound. One pound. I, was like, I said, wait, yeah. Wait, what utterly butterly is guys then? Use? Lure pack. Dun pack. It's I from love Aldi. Lure pack. Oh, I've never had dun pack. Have you tried dun pack from Aldi? It's exactly exactly the same packaging. No. Tastes the same. Half the price. Dun pack, guys. And there's an Audi local to me. Go as well. on. You're going to send me a DM Dumb and be like, Ria, change your life. <laughs> really? It's fantastic. I keep thinking, you know what? I always stick to the same bar mm. because I keep what thinking it's going to taste different. Flora. So there's two types of butters I like. I like, Ber- I like Berlatoli. Who? Oh, Berlatoli, <laughs> the olive oil one. I yeah, don't like that one. Like that, that one is a fancy one, one, one isn't like it? Is. Got the little all these colours and, and olives. Yeah, I'm the not green bougie. One. Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm it's not clear bougie. that you are. Don't say yeah. anchor. No, no, no. My taste is bougie. I'm not bougie. Though. Okay. So yeah, if you like anchor, you're paying literally a hundred grand for yeah. a butter. Yeah, that's yeah, without but the bread. Anchor's what I use when I want to bake. No. Nah. Isn't bro, it the bacon bro, one? Bro, bro, bro. I'll buy the stalk one. You know the. Why the are you like this? The one, what, the one in the foil. Bro, she buy an anchor thing. The one that's little, the little square is like literally like eight quid. Or is it yeah. like seven quid? But the one in the foil doesn't melt. I'm not using anchor. The foil one. Yeah, you know that's the ones the, that you bake. The tough yeah. one. <laughs> oh, to bake. Yeah. That will break your bread. You oh. put it on and it will break the bread. And yes. you're like, do you know that's, what? Yeah, I have to leave it out, outside yeah. for like a I good 24 time. hours. 24 hours. I'm telling you. Look at her. She's used it before. I had to go with the she's knife and I was like. It's yeah, not it's moving. Ridiculous. Like it's actually not moving. You're like, is this I was cheese? fighting with it. It's no, crazy. Gotta pop it in the microwave for like ten seconds. Cheese you know moves the, quicker I than that. I love the microwave. I you I you know what? I feel like if they did a study on me, they'd find out like there's honestly things in me because the way I use the microwave. I really I put everything in there. The other day, mm. cookies was... are hard. Go in there. <laughs> yeah. Everything goes in there. Ice cream too hard. Yeah. Pop honestly, it in. I put the whole thing no. in. Then I put yes. it back in the freezer. <laughs> because and then it freezes. Everyone's gonna get belly If I'm really craving this ice cream and it's rock hard. Yeah. It's going in the microwave because yes. I'm not like sitting around for 15 Literally, minutes. Literally, I ain't got time. Waiting for it to melt. No, no yeah. pun intended. It's I like it when it's like w- without the, like without melted. I like it when it's like She's got straight good teeth. out of the freezer. Got okay, good how teeth. are you going to No, but I, I, you know, oh, have you seen the video of the advert? And it curls. When, yeah, oh, <laughs> that's what I'd be doing. That's what I'll be doing. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Don't, don't. Your eyes, your eyes actually roll back. When I'm, so when I'm sick, rich yeah. enough to afford the, what's I can it imagine called? her with her leg crossed. Hagen so does. Like, I love Hagen does. Oi, Hagen does vanilla. I only buy it when it's on offer. Yeah. I swear to Who God. Who buys it full price though? Bro. Mm, no. And then even when it's on offer, I'm like, £4.50. I check my purse. I'm like, do I have enough check? Tra- £2.50. Can I afford this this month? Because <laughs> mm, mm. it's one meal. It's not a meal. Mm. It's a snack. It's literally a snack. I like the whole thing. Mm. I have sick. to eat it as well when Hannah's not around because yeah. otherwise, mommy can I have some ice cream? Yeah. Mm. And then she wants to eat half of my ice Basically, cream. Basically, I like, no, this is what my son does. I like ice cream. I yeah, don't care Hannah what you well. like. She, Instead of you to ask, uh, literally, guys, are you guys not? I like chocolate. Wait, you guys not moving like me. Wait until they go to bed. So no, that's what I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's no, what I, I do. do that now. You never catch me eating ice cream in front of her. No, I'm not, I'm not sharing. I don't eat anything in front of them. <laughs> if I want a warm meal, forget it. We're not eating anything. Yes, all the good stuff comes to go, out. Go and put his nose inside. Oh, but mm. mine has no interest in whatever I eat. Yeah, no, no. I could eat anything, and she would be like, "Yuck." Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. 
And I'm like, if only you knew how nice this tastes. I'm I'm eating chicken and chips. Yuck. That's good. And I'm like, okay. That's mad. Yeah, you told me she doesn't like chips. All the chicken and and chips for me. My son doesn't like chips. Mad. She won't eat fish fingers. She won't eat nothing. He only likes fish fingers now that he's gone to nursery. But honestly, just just fish fingers is what you have. Mad. But I put the chips on the side because I feel bad. Because I'm like, look at that plate. Yeah. yeah. Look at that plate. That's a very, very Look bad. soggy oh, fish fingers. I hear that. And I put it on and just sometimes I put ketchup just to make myself feel like I'm doing a good job. You know what I mean? You are doing a good job. Do you know? But now I don't care. Like he went to my mom's house and I literally just sent chicken dippers. Nothing else with it. I said, pop those in the oven, it'll be fine. <laughs> He's eating, isn't he? If he doesn't eat, he'll love porridge. He'll love porridge um, for dinner. Damn. All right, guys. Kids. Um, when it comes to like Sorry. raising kids. Mm. Oh my God. Sometimes I'm I'm thinking to myself, you know when she, the only thing she was putting in her body was milk. The only yeah. thing that she was drinking was milk. Mm-hmm. Life was so much easier. Yeah. Honestly, this is life what I was said so about much about easier. Because now, okay, I have I have my thing about newborns because I, me and Nasta always say that the newborn stage is like traumatizing. No, it is. I'm saying, but can you imagine? Right, let's let's just all close our eyes. But it is simple. Just giving. Can them milk. we imagine if if you didn't have all the hormones that came with it? Or had all the the PPD, or, yeah, yeah, all of that. You didn't, C-section recovery. yeah, you didn't have the trauma from your labor. Even if it was a good labor, you didn't have the trauma from your labor. If you didn't have like, you know, family sticking their nose in. If you yeah. didn't have issues with your partner. If you didn't have financial issues. If all these things didn't exist, mm-hmm. the newborn stage would be different, wouldn't it? No, the newborn stage would be heaven. It would be heaven. It, it would. If I everyone wasn't would have seven kids. It would. Yeah, I and and imagine you could things. send your child. Or somewhere where they could sleep, or you had an in-house nanny, oh, that, and don't. you know the nanny. I would be pregnant again. Like she's again. like a cousin. I would or get something. pregnant again. Do you know what I mean? Right more kids. Yeah. And if it's you was to breastfeed, like just picture. Imagine you were breastfeeding. You just pump your breast. You leave the milk outside the door. You go to bed. You know your child's been fed. Imagine like life as a mum would just be different. That's it's how all these of rich people are living. Yeah, I've seen TikToks of like that. It's like all that. because we're not. We're just brokies. That's what it is. <sighs> If we had money, we'd be but living like that. But do you know like what? Do you know what? It is because of money, but then at the same time, I want my kids to have that memory of me. Mm. That yeah. I'm... Do you know what I mean? I think sometimes, yeah. of course, there's people who have nannies and the mum is still engaged with them. Da, yeah. da, 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 but usually nine times out of ten, kids that have nannies, in-house nannies, whatever the case, the mum is kind of like either working or she's just too busy to have that one on one time. Yeah. Like little things like just sitting on the floor with your, your child while they're watching TV or yeah. sitting on the floor and playing with them. There's a lot of kids that don't have that. Do you know what a lot of them do though? The mums, they they make sure that they're back for bedtime and they do bedtime. Yeah. yeah. So they'll do the bath time, yeah. book and bed yeah. routine and milk with, with their kids. Yeah. So that their kids at least have some one on one time yeah. with them. Yeah. But what is that? That's sad though. But you know what? I feel like at the same time, it, that life, it always the grass always looks greener, isn't it? Mm, of course, the grass always looks anything that you're not side. in looks greener. Yeah, but then now looking back, like I'm thinking, the last three years I've had with her on my own, pretty much, and I wouldn't trade it. Yeah, it's hard. I wouldn't trade it. So hard. I think I would have if I was rich, I would have like a living nanny for maybe the first like six months. Yeah. Because when it's like really tiring yeah. and you're knackered and yeah. you're sleep deprived yes. and you're over that first six months, mm. I would have, mm-hmm. I'd have someone to cook for me, someone mm-hmm. to clean for me, oh, mm-hmm. somebody to do all yeah. of that. So all I have to do is just pump, yeah. breastfeed yeah. and just hug and kiss yeah. my kid yeah. and sleep. Yeah. So I would love it for like the first six months. You'd be a different mum because you'd be rested. I'd be completely different. Yeah. I'd be a completely different mum. Yeah. And then after that, goodbye yeah. nanny, yeah. but hello. Yeah. You can still keep the cleaner. Literally. You know? Yeah. Or come back when when, when my child turns two, come back. Yeah. Because I need you for when, like, there's tantrums. You take them, stay and play. Yeah. You do you do some of those things. Yeah. But then like at the same time... Half at least a little bit. Literally a bit of a balance. While your partner you know is at what? work. Yeah. You, guys, you, know? you guys are right. <sighs> I wouldn't trade it, though. Deepen it now. Because I know that she's for not going to anything. Yeah, for newborn stage, for them to be sleeping every mm. two hours, I'd be chilling. If yeah. I wasn't in any pain and yeah. I wasn't depressed and I didn't have a C-section yeah. Yeah. and I could walk properly yeah. and I could laugh and I could sneeze. Yeah. Yeah, but even if you had a C-section, but you just had somebody to do all those little tasks for you that you didn't have to yeah. do on your Listen, own. Yeah. I was at my mom's house for three months. Mm. I had my sister and my mom doing... Ev- my mom was bringing food to, to my bed. Aww. They looked after me well and oh, I was bless. still... 
Oh. I completely done it here because why? Obviously, it takes ten minutes for them to get me out of the bed. I mm. could not move. I couldn't walk. Oh my couldn't gosh. sneeze. Couldn't laugh. You had major surgery though. That's a big yeah. thing. C sections major surgery. And it was an emergency situation. I feel like they roughed me up a little bit mm. too. I think because it was a rush because her heart rate was dropping. Yeah. Um, and they were trying to get her out, and mm. then they realized Damn. my umbilical cord was like wrapped around, around her neck. <gasps> Oh my god! This girl did not even cry. I didn't even know she was out of me. She didn't even cry for for ages. But I just feel like they rushed it mm. because my sister-in-law she had two C-sections, um, and it was completely her choice. By the way, she chose to have it. Yeah. yeah. So she told me that both times she was driving the next day. Driving the driving. next day. Mm. Listen, I couldn't drive for six weeks, and I made sure I stuck to that rule because I couldn't even move. So yeah, what? I know people who had not expect me to drive. <laughs> yeah, <cough. laughs> they couldn't yeah. even do that because the C-section. Yeah, when my mom was driving she me was home, she was driving. That's when my mom was driving me home from work, I was pleading and crying with her. I was like, yeah. drive at five miles per hour because every bump, bump in the you road, could feel it. I was holding onto the car, and I was like, I was in tears the whole time. Oh, I'm sorry. So. Obviously, I'm looking at this child and I'm thinking, and this is the honest truth. I was yeah. looking at my child and I was like, you caused me this pain. Yeah. How am I supposed oh, to wow. feel any kind of joy? I went to the opposite place and I looked at her dad and I was like, this is all <laughs> fucking your fault. For real. Oh yeah, 100%. This I was is just, all your I was, fault. I was resenting her dad too. He I mean, to, he, used to just, he used to just stroll into my mom's house and yeah. he used to be like, let's go outside for a walk. And I'm like, can I even walk Literally, inside the house? Damn. Yeah. Can I even get out of bed? Stop yeah. telling me to go outside. Yeah, yeah. I was resentful yeah. towards everyone. Yeah, no, but I you're hear right. It. If I wasn't in any pain or anything, I 100% would have enjoyed it. Yeah. Everyone would have been different. It would have been, I would have preferred it to now. Mm. If, I 100%. if I could get rid of all of the problems, because yes. it's just milk, sleep. Yeah. Milk, yeah. nappy, <clears throat> sleep. Milk, nappy, sleep. Yeah. I think as well the the mundaneness of it oh my on God, top of all yeah. of the problems yeah. petition just made it worse. Yeah. But if you have like like people have mundane jobs where they work like in like Amazon where they're yeah. just doing the same shit yeah. all day, yeah. it just it doesn't you can do it for a few months yeah. like without getting sick of it really. Yeah. yeah. So but the thing is with a job, right? When you're doing the same thing over and over again, you know you're getting a paycheck at the end of the month. That's true. You're getting paid. When you're a mum, mm. what what Who's you Who's paying you? Do you know what I mean? Like you feel like you're not obviously you know, your child's healthy and all of that, da, da, da. And, you know, you see the, the growth in them, them yeah. they're hitting their milestones. But when your head's fogged so much that you can hardly see, like you get anxiety <coughs> when the newborn is like, when it's bedtime, I used to get oh my the anxiety God. I used to get every single night. Oh. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, we're doing this again. As soon as the sun sets yeah. and everyone's going to bed. Literally. But you know you're not going to bed. How am I going to do, how am I going to do this again? Yeah. Like, and, ev and then, you, then you feel like, okay, they're sleeping a bit more. Then you feel like, okay, maybe you feel like you feel positive. Duh, duh, and then it's like they hit four weeks and then they have that growth thing and then they, they don't sleep. Oh. And then there was one night my firstborn didn't sleep the whole night. And I was with my mom and I literally remember going into my mom's room. I couldn't even see because I was crying so much. And I was like, take him, take him away from me. Literally because I thought, how am I going to do this? And I'm the mom, I'm in charge. Yeah. Like, and I don't even know myself. I don't even, what? But there's no manual. There's literally no manual. That's what I like hate. Every child I think, is different. Oh, every situation yeah. is different. That's Your child can hated. sleep through the night at like four weeks and then yeah. be amazing sleeper all the way to two and then never sleep through the night again. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, you have to just do what you can do that works best for you and lean on if you have people around you. Do you know what I mean? There's but it's, no manual, man. It's crazy. The maddest thing happened, yeah. Uh, this is when Jenna was about maybe two months. I don't mm. know. I was still at my mom's house or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then um, my sister was like, you know what? Like, I will sleep. I'll sleep with her. Mm. You sleep in my room mm -hmm. and get a full night's rest. Oh, yeah. that's nice. I looked at her. I was like, that's nice of you. I'll do it. But like, you know when you get that feeling where it's like, oh, if I hear them crying, I'm yeah. not going to be able to sleep. Yeah. But I was like, okay, I'll try my best, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I go to her bed now. I knock out. Yeah. I wake up the next day, I was like, how was she? And my sister was like, bro, your daughter slept the whole night. No, said, and you was thinking. Of course she did. I looked at her, I was like, yeah. you're not gonna sleep the whole night with me. Yeah, my but son. You wanna sleep all night with my sister? Yeah, my son used to do that when he used to sleep with my mum. She used to be like, oh, he tossed all of turned, a sudden. He tossed turned a little bit, but he slept all night. He was great. And you're like, tell me why. But I feel like it's they can sense us. The following night. 
They can so smell you. Waking up every hour. Yeah. Not sense. They can smell you. They can smell you. you. They know your smell. Mm, they can smell you. It's crazy. And then you feel like you want to give your child to that person again more often <laughs> because you're like, it seems like it's working there. But then you get <laughs> when you when the baby's new, you get the mum guilt. Yeah. Where you're like, I'm a mom. I should know this. I have to do this. Yeah. I should know how to make him stop crying. I should know. And it's like, no, you shouldn't. Do you know, like the mum guilt, I feel like I lost it very, very early on. Mm. You know, when I lost it, when that sleep deprivation hit. Yeah. Because my cousin stayed over, like I was telling Subia last time, my cousin stayed over for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I would do the night shift. And then in the morning, at like seven o'clock in the morning, I'd be like, see you later. Yeah. And then I would go and I would knock and I could hear her crying in the back of my head. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. And yeah, I would literally cry. I like I would be knocked out. Yeah. I can hear her crying. And yeah. I'm like, is it really my problem? You can handle it. My yeah. mum is there. Yeah. Like there's two of you. Yeah. I need to sleep. Yeah. So I would like Babies will be babies. Out. Literally. Baby go and cry. She's going to cry with you. Or she's going to cry with everyone. Yeah. There's nothing so wrong with you her. You might as well sleep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're going to figure out what's wrong with her and then she's going to stop crying. Yeah. So yeah. I don't care. Literally. I literally didn't give a shit. It's, either, like, it's either milk or she needs to be changed or yeah. she needs to be burped. There's yeah. nothing else that. she's got wind. Yeah. Or she's a little bit uncomfortable with yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. But I think when when you know that, it's it's kind of up to you if you sit with that or you let the guilt still control you. Yeah. It's because controlling. It's controlling. That shit it's controlling. You. And it's like I always say to myself, I'm doing the best I can with what I know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm doing the best I can with, with the tools I have. And it is what it is. Because mm -hmm. there's some things you can't control. If a child is having a tantrum, you know they've eaten, you know they're clean, you know they've napped or whatever the case is, mm -hmm. and they're still having a tantrum, what can you do about that? You can't control it. I can't control it. Do you know my mum? My mum doesn't understand that. What? The tantrums? Like, they could be fed. Yeah. They could be clean. Yeah. They could be happy. Yeah. They could be completely fine. Mm -hmm. And they'll still have a tantrum. Yeah. And she's like, but there has to be something wrong. And I'm like, no. um... Or maybe she's just three. Yeah. It's just frustration. Maybe literally. she's just, just three. Literally. Yeah. Sometimes literally. they just want to tell you something and they don't know what to, yeah. they don't know how to say it. Yeah. And then that's what gets them cranky. Yeah. Like, it's nothing to do with you. But sometimes just... my son wouldn't even need to tell me anything. He would literally scream, have a tantrum and then just go and watch Paw Patrol. <laughs> and then literally, <laughs> and, and I had to learn to stop getting so frustrated in that moment because I'm sat there vexed because I'm like, are you joking me? And he's moved on. He's yeah. with his toys. He's yeah. watching Paw Patrol. And I'm sat on the floor thinking... You're still reeling it? from yeah. it. I'm still... I'm I'm vexed. He's a week has you. passed. Yeah, he's just he's and I'm you. thinking, last Thursday, <laughs> I was sat on the floor and he had a tantrum. I'm still holding on to it. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, I've learned to just yeah. let him do what you've got to Man do, babe. Man says he's got a grudge. <laughs> yeah. I was like, literally, literally you've given me well. the ick. You've yeah. given me the ick now. Get out. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> It is what it is. It's Your like son. we can't we can't control everything. We can't control everything. No, I I literally caught myself saying something so stupid the mm -hmm. other day, and I and I thought to myself, "Sweet, look at you." Um. Jenna was moving mad again. She was looking at me saying, no. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not your friend. I don't want it this. And I was like, God, I'm such I a do that to Hannah all the time. <laughs> and the thing is, they don't understand what that means. So they're like. But Loki, I think she okay. sensed it. Because every time I say I'm not your friend, she's just like. Mm, like, you know when they do that lip Yeah, thing? yeah. You know how to get her. Lip. Yeah. You know and what I'm I do? just like, Sue, you're moving, like, you're moving mad. Sue, yeah. you know when she's bugging out on the floor over there? Yeah. And I'm like, it, it's, it, she has a specific place in the corridor yeah. where she sits when she's crying mm -hmm. and upset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she look at her like this, I'm like, okay, I'm going to the toilet. And then I'll just walk into the toilet. Yeah. And then she'll go, no, mommy, come back. Come yeah. Back. She wants me to watch her yes. have a tantrum. Yes. And as soon as I walk away, it's, a performance. it's like, how dare you yeah. how not dare watch she me? Yeah. Leave She's a me. How yeah, could she not watch me cry? And that's why you have to ignore. Like, I would step over my son. We'd be in the me kitchen. Well. I'd literally be like, <laughs> I pretend that I can't even hear him. Me as well. I'll put myself in the microwave. I'll pour myself my coffee. I'll continue my day. Yeah. yeah. Because then they clock, that doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. Mommy actually doesn't care. Yeah. Because I don't. You can do what you want. Roll on the floor. I don't care. That's yeah. like my son. He goes to like the the front, like the the front door. Mine as well. That, front that door. It's like the limelight's on him. I don't know what it is that just it makes him feel like he's on center stage. What but he goes there. The front door. At least you just sit there and I just continue. Sometimes I turn up the TV because <laughs> I'm like can't hear the news. Be quiet. <laughs> and then he clocks. Oh yeah, this woman actually doesn't care. And he gets up because brother, I haven't got time for this. 
I haven't got time. Have yeah, you ever tried you have to asking them? them you have to let them know. You have to. Do you know, I've tried with Hannah. She'd be like, wow. And I'd be like, um, would you like a packet of crisps? Yes, mummy, I'd like a packet yeah, of see? crisps. And I'm like. Literally. You was just, you was literally. Yeah, you was losing it. And then I just said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pack of crisps? <laughs> yeah. Pack of crisps? Yeah. Mummy, yes. pack of crisps? Yeah. No, no, no. And I look at her and I'm like. It reminds me of Kanye West. You I know, was just trying to see if it would work. Yeah. I swear it worked. Yeah. Was it a video? When you know how to get them, then it's game over. Was it a video of Kanye West and he's like this? Then he laughs and he's like, hey. yeah. That's how they Literally. are. Literally. Yeah? My daughter does that. Every time she's pissed off or she's crying, sometimes yeah. I'm like, let me try and make her laugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See what happens. She literally breaks the character, yeah. She's like <laughs> pissed off, crying, whatever. And then she goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my son. Then she, son. Then she laughs. Then she's like, <laughs> Yesterday we took them to the park, right? And my son does this thing where he gets, when he gets really frustrated, because he doesn't nap, I can always time when he's going to happen. Yeah. There's usually midday, sometimes around 4 p.m. as well. Those are the times when he actually wants to like, like crack it. Uh-huh. Um, so we went to the park and it was around 12.30ish, right? And imagine I said, what did I say to him? He wants to take off his jacket because his dad took off his jacket, right? And I'm like, no, it's cold. At least put your gloves on. No. I literally threw himself, then got the gloves and was biting them going, rah, rah, like a crackhead. And me and my husband were literally just sat there like laughing, just like we laughed. Then he started laughing with the glove in his mouth. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, you are crazy. That's true. So once he started laughing, we, he just moved on. Cause I'm like, <laughs> yeah, because do you see how crazy you look? I should film him and show him when he's 15 and be like, this is what you crack at energy you was doing when you was three. Oh man. Honestly, and this, that's why I said to you guys, I understand when people say I'm one and done. I have one, we are, I genuinely, I'm happy, I'm done. I have to. I hear it. I have to applaud you. For real. I hear it. Do, the reason why I need to applaud you is because I am fighting for my life every mm. day. And I have one. Honestly. Imagine I had a newborn right now. Yeah. While Jenna's just, no. No, but Surya, forget that. Imagine you was pregnant. But you had an easy pregnancy. You, you're pregnant. You're not okay. even scared of pregnancy. Cool. I'm scared of pregnancy. Cool. Really? I had an easy pregnancy. Bro. But my next pre- pregnancy could be different though. That's yeah. True. It's a gamble. It's, it's true. true. It could be hard next time. I could be vomiting from day one. Mm. Bro, I'm just like That's what I'm saying. It's not pregnant. consistent. It's, it's not, not consistent at all. How was yours? Were they just different? Um, you... The second one was a blur. Because obviously I've got my toddler. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh. when I actually was like near my due date, I was like, whoa, that went fast. Because life doesn't stop. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you couldn't even rest. But my, pre- n- no. but my pregnancies <laughs> were, they were fine. I had, do you know what? I had really good pregnancies and really good labours. Like, Thank labors. God, Have I had really good labors. You're really lying. Good. Yeah, I had good labors. Did you were you induced at any point? So my first, I love talking about my labors. <laughs> I don't even have tell any us, hair. Tell us, tell us. Wait, hold on. <laughs> but um, how's she excited to talk about labor? No, because no, because I feel like it's really positive. I feel like yeah. there yeah. needs to be positive, positive. labor stories. Do you know what there does? Because I know, yes. I know, not everyone has them, and I know that, you know. I think it's t- I think it's good to talk about the. Good, good. Yeah, ones. because regardless, regardless, it's going to be painful. You know, yeah. there's some things, like I said, you can't control, especially in labor. <laughs> I'm <laughs> laughing because I was there thinking, just breathe, woosa, woosa through yeah. it, yoga. <laughs> I've got this. As if I've been pregnant birthing, before. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I've got this. A couple of breathing, you know, watching YouTube videos. I was like, it's easy PC Balamori. I've got this. <laughs> I didn't have any of it. It was a lie. <laughs> so I, right. So I, my son, I got up to my due date and then I had enough. So I was literally like, get me out of here. <laughs> so I literally was like, his his kicks were, weren't were as strong as they usually were. So mm-hmm. I was just like, this is, could be a good idea for me to pop in. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, his kicks are limited. They were like, have you felt him? I'm like, I can't remember. I blatantly knew, yeah. but I'm like, induce me. <laughs> induce me now. So um, put me into labor ward, um, was there for a while. My husband was, what was my, he was just chilling on his laptop as men do. Because mm-hmm. um, you know, life is easy. Anyway, yeah. so what happened? They induced me the first time. I had a really bad midwife, like oh. very lax. Like there was one time she came to check me and was eating popcorn. Like she's literally chewing popcorn. Did she wash her hands? I don't even remember. I just said, get me out. Just very like lax, very like, Does oh, this look like a movie to you? Literally, is this Isn't funny? It? What are you doing? Is this funny? <laughs> are, you, are she gonna sneeze and the baby's gonna come Honestly, out? Like- is this a premiere of, of a new film? I'm actually confused. We're not on the red carpet. Get him out now. 
So she <laughs> sorry, she was like, it's my first ball. And she, you know, because she knew it was my first. They're very lax. They're like, oh, he's not coming yet. You know, he's not coming. Anyway, they induced me. It didn't really work at first. And they induced me again. You know, like when they put more in you. God knows oh, what yeah. they're doing. Yeah. So then my waters broke. And then I was like, oh my gosh, what's that? What's happened? Um, I was so like all over the place. Like I didn't even know what was supposed to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then I kept saying, please check me, please check me. They were like, oh no, we can't check you because your waters are broke. Like we can't put your our fingers in there because cause he's not in the sack anymore. We might give you an infection and stuff mm. like that. I was like, whatever. So I was like, he's coming. Like I can feel the baby coming. They were like, no, 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 no. Then they checked me. I was seven centimeters dilated. Oh my goodness. With no pain relief. I was seven centimeters dilated. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. So I remember they gave me gas and air and I remember, you know when you guys said that you felt like you were gonna die? I had that. I was in the wheelchair, they were pushing me around and I was literally, my head was swinging. There was a point where I nearly knocked myself out in the lift. Cause I was like out of it. Like I couldn't even keep my head up. Looking back, I must have looked like a crackhead. But anyway, <laughs> so I was literally like, oh my oh. God. Like, and I remember my husband saying, oh my God, her head. And me like nearly swinging my head into the lift. Oh my oh goodness. My anyway, God. we got upstairs. I fell to the floor. I wish I was covered in blood. Um, and I was like, he's coming, he's coming. I need to push. Got into the bed, opened up my legs. My mum came in, like rushed in. Um, and I pushed twice and he was out. Mad. Mad, I remember my mum saying, mad, yeah, mad, yeah. I remember my mum saying, this is gonna hurt. You know, the ring of fire when his head comes out. She was like, this part's gonna hurt. And I was like, oh, I pushed him out. And then I was like, oh my God, cause it was burning. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I had nair, like nair, hair removal all over my, my minge. I said, oh, get him out. God, Not nair. It Not felt like nair. there was hair removal on my new nan. It felt like there was bleach on mine. Basically, yeah. I'm sorry guys, man, ring of fire. Ring of fire. Nah. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah, he came out and you then he was did here. Two pushes. Two pushes. That's mad. Two pushes. Two yeah. Two pushes. Yeah. Good. Then my second. <laughs> she sneezed. My second, basically, because it was an open alley. You know what I mean? There was, it was already. It was already. What was even the point of pushing? My second was two weeks early, right? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> So my funny. second was two weeks <laughs> can you, sorry can you dash me the vaseline my lips are dry from yeah, laughing fine um yeah my second was two weeks early i i went for a walk my my firstborn had the worst tantrum ever that day oh my god yeah and i'll say we need to get out you're moving mad so i went for like literally like a 40 minute walk imagine i'm like 38 weeks yeah 38 weeks pregnant yeah and i'm going oh for like a long walk um and everything was uphill Anyway, Goodness me. got to like the end and I was thinking, oh my God, like I'm in so much pain. I thought it was Braxton Hicks. Mad. I was like, I'm in so much pain. So my husband was coming back from work and I was like, you have to meet us. Like I'm in so much pain, you need to push the pram. Anyway, I was like, I've got such bad Braxton Hicks. But in my head, wasn't deeping, it could possibly be the baby. I don't know. I just- You was like, I have two weeks left. Yeah, because I was over, because uh -huh. I was like induced with my first, I was like, it's he's not gonna be early. Got home. Was like, oh my god, I'm in so much pain. Um, and by walking, you're in literally I'm inducing myself. Yeah. And you know, I was back in raspberry leaf tea because I said, get him out. Did it work? Yes. That raspberry leaf I tea was did making, nothing. Yeah, but I for was me. making concoctions. I was drinking like six, seven tea bags in like a big pot. I was Don't drinking it the whole me. day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, was, I was I was putting watermelon in it because it was hot. It was summer. I was doing it all, making a concoction of it. Yeah. Anyway, so then I contacted the the hospital. They were like, come in. Da -da -da. They checked me. The woman was like, oh, your cervix isn't even soft. Like you're nowhere near labor. But looking back, the woman's arms were this big. So I feel like she wasn't even touching my cervix. I think she was just touching my vagina. <laughs> Cause I'm like, when I got home, when I got home, I was in labor. I was in early labor. Her arms are like that, like literally that big. And it makes sense now because what was you touching, babe? I think she was looking for treasure because I'm like, the cervix was was soft. Is this the one I was eating? Uh, no, this is a different. No, this this is my second. She was touching some of your walls. Literally, she was just like, "Whoa, <laughs> it feels nice in here." Yeah. Having a bit of a laugh. Anyway, I got home, um, and then I had my son two hours later. What in your house? No, 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 in the hospital. Oh my god! But I was in. So imagine. Ain't no way your cervix was not ready. It? it was hella soft. I don't know what she was talking about. <laughs> was she Her talking fingers about? weren't long imagine enough. Imagine <laughs> she. When I got home, I was 
on all fours upstairs, like on my bed, like, oh my God, like breathing through it. I thought it was Braxton Hicks again. I didn't think it was anything. Um, went downstairs, couldn't sit on the sofa because his head was coming out. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Got in the lift, fell to my knees. Like every contraction, I was falling to my knees. Was on all fours in my mum's car at the back. You didn't even have time for gas and air, did didn't you? Didn't even have any pain, pain relief. I was grabbing my husband's hand, like breaking his fingers, like I'm going to die. I remember saying to him, I can't do this. But you know when they say you can't do this, that's when you're in the transition part, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, of your labour. When you, when you get to a point where you can't handle it, yeah. you're almost done. Yeah. I was there. You're That's literally wild. so close. I was yeah. there. It's wild because when I was about to give up, yeah. all of a sudden, yeah. we're going to the theatre. Literally. For C section. And yeah. then I had my epidural and that was it. Crazy. It's actually crazy. And then I got out the lift at the hospital, fell to my knees, and my husband was saying, Someone help her. Imagine all the nurses are like, Because when I called, they were like, They just thought, I don't know what they thought. I don't think they thought that I was in labour because I was so calm. Yeah, but they were supposed to come and properly check you, Basically. weren't they? Basically, it's then I got to on the rule bed. it out. They gave me gas in there once. When did your uh, when did your water break? And then it came out. When did your waters break? They broke just before I pushed. Mad. Yeah. Just before I pushed, and imagine my legs are open, just given birth, and then one of the nurses goes, "Oh my god, I watch your videos." My goodness. And my <laughs> vagina is out, and I'm like, oh "Could you not goodness. wait? Could you, you not wait? You you've seen wait. my you've seen my virginia, you've seen my vagina." And now you're going to tell people, this I is, watch her on is, YouTube and I saw this her is not, vagina. This is not the time, baby. That's mad. This is not the like time. Now, like, I didn't need to know that. Read that the was room. Not the time. Could have, literally. So yeah, that was my that was my labours. So they were very quick. Like my, on paper, my labour was three minutes with my second. <laughs> you're fucking lying. Three minutes. I love that for you. Three minutes. You're fucking lying. Three that minutes. That is insane. So it was very, and it was. I think that's a record for yeah. three minutes. There has three to minutes. be some sort of a record. I need to get my, my prize. Ridiculous. But yeah, that's mad. so both labors were just like quick, boom, bam. I was at the hospital. But you How know, long when was recovery, um, when the labor's quick like that, though, isn't it harder? Because it's like all the contractions, mm -hmm. all that pain you're mm -hmm. getting at one time. Yeah, yeah. At least if your labor's a bit like, you know, gradual, mm. you're spending a couple of hours of just rest. And yeah. You know, you get to have gas in air. Yeah. But with you, I guess, in like I didn't the space of an of hour yeah. or less. No, I didn't have any of that. Of and mentally, I think it did throw me off. Because imagine, he's You're two weeks early. Minute, yeah. yeah, he's two weeks early. I haven't got the car seat ready. There's nothing ready, yeah. right? So then when I got home, like the first two, three weeks, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe I've actually, because you don't, re it doesn't register because everything is so quick. And then it's like, you're having to just go into this now without any plan. It was crazy. But, but I remember praying to God saying, Please, Lord, please, please, please give me another labor like my first. Please, please. Because I was really scared about having, because I felt like I got lucky the first time because okay. of the induced. Da, da, da. So I was like, please, please, please. And then it's like, God was looking at me like, bro, I got you. He's coming. Yo, the induction wow. for me was bad. Really? It was bad. I got induced at like 2 p.m. They put a pessary inside me. Yeah. She was two weeks late. Two weeks, like, it was like just one day before two weeks. Oh, my God. Yo, getting... when, when I tell you I was this big, oh yeah, my I'm I'm genuinely telling you I was. You see these trousers I'm wearing now? Actually, I was wearing them when I was giving birth. Look, look, look. No way. The, these trousers were here. These trousers were here. I swear to God, these trousers were here. See how stretchy oh they are? They're mad. They they were mad here. Company. These were tight on me Whoa. when I was giving birth. They were tight. It's mad. That's crazy. After they induced me. Um, the contractions started straight away. So like after like half an hour, contractions, oh contractions, gosh. So I was doing the whole, Wusa, yeah, yeah. Wusa, yeah, I can first, breathe through it's like, it. Yeah, it's, it's like, I can handle this. It's just not really anything. Yeah. Um, but that's that's not the real tr contractions. No, no, but you know yeah. what happened as well? I was having too many contractions. Back to back, that's yeah, how mine was. Like as in eight of them yeah. in 10 minutes. It was mad. Gosh. They said it's not supposed to be that many in 10 yeah. minutes. So they, they slowed it down, they gave me injection. Yeah. Yeah. They slowed it down. Didn't slow it down for long mm. before they broke my waters. They put like a long hook inside oh, me and then they gosh. lipped it and then my waters broke. It felt like a hot waterfall, insane. It was like green as well. Yeah. And then they were all like, shit, 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 shit. Like you need to start like like getting ready to yeah. push or whatever. Yeah. Um, I pushed in 10 minutes and I got her out. Yeah, it was 10 minutes of pushing. 
That's so good. Because some people get induced and then have, they still have to wait seven hours. Yeah. Or the next day. No, oh, I yeah. did. I waited the next day. Okay. So I got induced at 2 p.m. Yeah. And I had her the next day at midday. Oh, that's not so too bad. So it was though. almost 12 hours. Yeah. That's not too bad though. No, sorry, least... 24 hours. Yeah. It was almost 24 hours. Mm. But at least yeah. it's like contract, like there's like some kind of like progress at first. I'm telling you, I was on the gas and air from like. I would be too. From like two o'clock in the morning. Oh Cause I got God. to the, I got to the hospital at like 11.30. Mm. Um, so from 2 p.m. until 11.30, I was firming it. Yeah. And then at 11.30, I couldn't firm it anymore. Yeah. And I was like, let's go to the hospital. Yeah. And then I had a contraction that lasted five minutes. Mm. And then the midwife, she was on the phone and she was like, are you still contracting? I was like, yes. Oh, <laughs> five minutes there. Oh, oh are you still God. contract? Oh, <laughs> come to the hospital, put the phone down, went to the hospital. Wow. And then, yeah, so from there, it was like, um, I was firming it for a while and then they gave me the gas and air. Mm. And then I was on gas and air from like half 12, one o'clock in the morning until the next day. Yeah, <laughs> I would be too. Goodness. Yeah, it was mad. Yeah, could you hold on to the gas in there? Yeah, I said to the woman, really no. She was, she was trying to check how dilated I was. I got to the hospital at three centimetres. Mm -hmm. By like seven o'clock in the morning, I was like five centimetres. No, by, by, by five o'clock in the morning, I was five centimetres. And then by seven, I was seven centimetres. Oh my God. And then it was like one centimetre an hour. Yeah. Literally, Wait, it was mad. On. When you guys were in labour, did you have someone there? Did yeah, you have no. like a midwife there monitoring you guys? Because I couldn't take, like, I couldn't take the gas in air, like, for too long. As soon as my what? contractions were dropping, she would take it off me. You're joking. Yeah. She was there the whole time. They had time that day then. It, was, I think it, it was, must have been overstaffed. Could have been, it could have been COVID times yeah. because it was just oh, me and my mum and her mm. in a room. That's crazy. For, yeah. Me, I so had she, nobody, nobody to monitor me. Yeah, because I was in the labour ward my first i didn't really have anyone to monitor me <clears throat> um but with my sec uh, yeah my second was quick so i don't know <laughs> my thing yeah that that's gas in no yeah. as i remember because i was thinking to myself if she wasn't in the room i'd be back in this gas yeah in i was back in it so but we are she would literally take it off me or my mom like because obviously she was right there my mom would just be like here <laughs> give it to me yeah it's crazy man. at one point i was like to my ex-husband i was like just some he was like <laughs> yeah it's all right and uh, at one point my mom was like mom do you want to try it you was she was like it. I was like, it's great, isn't it? My mum was like, this is weird. And then she gave it back. She's like, I don't want any more. I was yeah. like, I'll well, have for me. More. Yeah. <laughs> it was oh, it was brilliant. Lit. Oh, I loved brilliant. it. I loved it. I actually had some the other day when I went to the dentist and I was like, it feels good to be back. Where, where can I steal one of these? Honestly. Where can I buy one? I feel like they should like, put it in like I a care package it. for new mums. Yes. Ooh, yes. Yes. You'd be able to get through the night spell. Yes. You'd be high. Oh, can you imagine? Wait, hold on. Why is that not a thing? Mm. Did someone say business idea? Honestly. <laughs> Ria, honestly, company house you heard right it now. first. <laughs> but only a little bit, you know what I mean? Just so that, like... Just a small amount. The anxiety isn't there for the night. It's just yeah. like, you're just flowing with it, you know? And imagine they wrote on the packet, yeah, something like, say, no, um, something like, you don't have a lot of gas in here. Save it for the toughest nights. Yeah. Don't yeah. use it straight away. Literally. And then you will know when that night comes, you're like, Be wait, sorted. I've got some gas and air. Let me yeah. Just how did you guys feel about like the whole physicists and stuff coming over? Piss off. Oh my God, they didn't even go to Sylvia's house. Wait, they were rude, on, bro. Hold on, hold on. They hold aired on, you, innit? I remember. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, listen. This is going to get me hot. Mm. And I think this is what made me spiral a little bit. Mm. Anyways, two days after I gave birth, I was in hospital for like two days because of the C-section. Yeah. I got home now. Uh, my midwife came twice in like the space of like four days. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that was with me throughout my pregnancy. Mm. Really nice woman. My mom even fed her. I yeah. saw her face for the first time because she had a mask on the whole time in it. Oh, wow. Because okay. this is 2020 when yeah, I was. That's yeah. crazy. So when she came to my house, my mom's offering her like Somali tea yeah. and this and that, Somali breakfast. Mm -hmm. And she took her mask off and she's yamming. And I'm looking at her like, so that's how you look like. That's crazy. <laughs> and it's funny because I imagine her to look <laughs> differently yeah when you her see mouth. someone's mouth it yeah. changes the whole face her literally whole mouth. Yeah. Their nose as well yeah her mouth looked different i was like Rah. who the hell is this who's that <laughs> yeah you're like that's, that's not my wife <laughs> put the mask back mom on. yeah mom send her out that's not her <laughs> <laughs> it's a stranger <laughs> yeah so she's like munching on like bless her like and then she was like it's my last day here blah 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 mm -hmm. i was really sad because it's like i've known you for the last nine yeah, months yeah yeah anyway she was like your health visitor should be coming at your six week mark. Mm -hmm. I said, cool. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she at? 
She didn't come. She didn't come. I don't think anyone came for me as well for six weeks. She didn't come. And I got a text message. I got one for, yeah, I did. I yeah, got a text message. I think I got a text message like the day after, or mm-hmm. two days after. Mm-hmm. And they were like, we're so sorry your health assistant couldn't come. She wasn't feeling well, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to reschedule. Cool. And nothing, then nothing, crickets. Nothing. So at oh. that point, I don't think it, you guys understand how That's much I was looking terrible. forward to seeing my health visitor. Yeah. Oh, I was looking forward to it because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to tell her that I feel depressed. Because yeah. I couldn't talk to my family oh. at, the, at that point. Oh, like, I'll cry, you know. Don't. <laughs> Well. No, because no, because depression, like, easily. I was no, so well, it, depressed. With, with like postpartum depression, yeah, it's, it's, no, I'm going to get upset. What's the matter with me? <laughs> oh, my period. Stop. No, I, I've had my period. No, I genuinely. It's a deep, it's such a deep I I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk to my, my mom and my sister knew though. My mom knew something wrong with me. Yeah. But. It's not something wrong. I couldn't physically tell her, like, I feel like shit. I, I didn't, yeah. I didn't know how to say it to her. So I was thinking. you don't know either. I don't even know. Yeah, either. you don't even know to put, how to put it into words. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. should I be, how, how come I don't feel happy? Yeah, like, and then you've got this new baby and you're like, I can't even really connect. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking when the health you. visitor comes, mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to her and, yeah. real, and I feel comfortable talking to her. Yeah, and she'll give you advice. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. She didn't come and I almost like, I spiraled, Ria. Mm. Like I lost my shit. So I called my GP and this was early 2021. Yeah. So I, I spoke to my GP and I was like, listen, no, sorry, I lied. Uh, my daughter was having a vaccination. Mm. That's how I ended up at the GP. Could you imagine if she wasn't? Oh. I ended up at the GP. She was getting vaccinated or some mm, shit like that. Mm, mm. So before they vaccinated her, the doctor, who was such a lovely woman, she spent like 15 minutes just talking to me. How you been? This is that. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, and she was like, how's the, you had your six week checkup, right? I looked at her, I was like, no. She was like, what do you mean, no? Didn't you have a C-section? They didn't even come and check. I said, no. No one came. And I was like, listen, help me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. Yeah. And then she was like, okay, when when I when we finish off the vaccination, mm-hmm. when you're leaving, on your way out, book an appointment and come see me. I said, cool. She was like, you have to come see me. And tell them it's for a postpartum checkup. Yeah. I said, cool. Mm-hmm. On my way out, I make an appointment. What did I say to them? Postpartum checkup. Yeah. I waited two weeks for this appointment. I come back and guess what? They booked me in for a smear test. Uh, NHS, NHS, NHS. Sorry, they book, what, sorry, they sorry, book, what? <laughs> Ria, the lady, the stupid fucking woman at the reception. Listen. Wait, 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 sp- wait, wait. You've <laughs> just had a baby. You don't have a smear test as soon as you've had a baby. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, they should know that. I did not say the word. Do you know what I mean? Smear test. No, but even if you didn't, even if you just stood at the counter and didn't say anything, that's definitely not how what you're did, there for. How did we get there? <laughs> Do you get know what I mean? How did, how did I end up on a smear test list? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But oh my God. I went back and this was ugh, the longest two weeks of my life, Ria. I'm, I could imagine. I'm thinking, okay, finally, today's the day. I went yeah, to the yeah, GP. Yeah. And I'm ready to just talk vent. openly yeah. i'm ready to vent yeah. i'm ready to like yeah unload. and you'll keep and and those two weeks you're thinking okay just have to wait till i go to my dude like GP, just to hold do on yeah, a little yeah, bit longer yeah. i get there now she's like so you're here for your smith it's a completely different woman it's not the same doctor oh I my saw. god i said what do you mean and she was like you're booked in for a smear test i said no i fucking wasn't i just had a baby and i wanted a postpartum checkup and she was like, I'm so sorry. Like, she was like, who did you ask? I said, one of those motherfuckers she needs to be sitting, fired. sitting she at needs reception. To be fired. She and she was like, you're fired. not even, she was like, when did you give birth? I said, literally, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. She was like, you're not supposed to have a exactly. smear test. Because you could get an infection. Guys. That's crazy. It wasn't her fault, this one here. Of obviously. course. It was the fucking woman yeah, that was sitting. Yeah. So I was just like. Did you reschedule it though? Not that. And do a proper I, one? I, I walked away. I stormed off because yeah. you know when you get so frustrated. Yeah, like my, and to my get head to was that hot. appointment anyway, it oh. took two weeks. Do you know what I mean? Me to get there, yeah, right? but to navigate the day so that you can go to the appointment, like you've got to give your daughter to your mom. You've got to. Do you know what I mean? I had to mentally prepare as well. Oh my gosh! So I get back in the car, I go home, I open the door, slammed it, mm. and I was. My mom was like, are you okay? My mom, first of all, she was like, you've been gone five minutes. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> Why are you back? Yeah. I was like, I'm so fucking annoyed. Yeah. Ah! yeah. She's like, what's wrong? They broke me in for a smear test. Like, I lost 
I was so pissed off. I went upstairs and took a nap. Yeah. No, I, I was so pissed thing. off. Yeah. There's some angers like, you just need to sleep. I yeah. am so that poor, that doctor is probably thinking what happened to that girl. Honestly. Aww. Yeah. Because I never came back. Yeah. Did you but rebook it? That's that. After that, I did not. I, it's like I lost hope in the Jeep. I did not book so myself real. an appointment or nothing. I just, I just raw dogged it for the rest of, for the, rest oh, of the year. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> she's I'm just going to back through this depression. <laughs> she barebacked it. She I tried the condom. She's had enough. <laughs> oh I barebacked the depression. That's <laughs> Yeah. No, I hear it though. I hear it. So maybe that's why when I think about the newborn stage, all oh. I think about is yeah, because you've got some depression. Trauma. Yeah. All I think about is I'm in pain. All I'm thinking about is my health visit didn't come. And people not listening and all yeah. I'm thinking about is the fucking smear test. Like yeah, damn. But it will be different if you had another one. It would be different because you're more wiser. You're more. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? You would know if that happened that you would like kind of stick up for yourself. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Because when when you're a new mum, this identity you don't even you don't even have any confidence in yourself. You haven't registered everything yet. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So it's like, if you have another one, that's another thing. You've got more knowledge. It was just, yeah, it was just. Uh... It's a dark time. I hear it. Also, the next one, you'll be able to understand your feelings when you're feeling yeah. them. Mm -hmm. So before, all of these things were coming at you fast and you didn't know what was going on. And but you now- you, And you would know your daughter better too. Yeah, now you'd be like, oh wait, hold on. I'm starting to feel baby blues. Yeah. This is probably baby blues. Yeah. And I'd be like, okay, I'm severely depressed. Yeah. Depression. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Now She's you'll be able to recognize it. Yeah. 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 You'll be able to recognize it better the next That's time true. round. Because you I would. remember I used to sit there at night and think, when am I going to sleep again? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know. Yeah. This is our first time in it. Me as well. No. I thought, I, I honestly thought for the rest of my life, that's four hours. Like yeah. I would have four hours most to sleep. Yeah. And even then, it's not a, it's not a hard sleep because I'm thinking, all the things I need to do, yeah. or I have to think, I can't sleep too long because I've got a breastfeed. Got, do you know what I mean? You all don't the, want it to get too deep, deep otherwise deep, you're going to yeah, miss it. Yeah, it's not a deep sleep yeah, anymore. It's not a deep sleep. Like even if you're out cold, you're not really s asleep. Because you can still hear the baby. When you can the baby still hear cries. the baby. Yeah. I still wake up randomly just to put the blanket on her. So do I. Same. Yeah. A million times a so night. She's knocked out. A million times a night. But I'm just like so she could be cold. And I watch the camera. Now. Like I watch the camera. I'm like, okay, is the blanket too close to this fit? And I go in there and I stand and I watch. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. me and Hannah, we co sleep. Yeah. So sometimes I just get a kick to the side of my head, mm -hmm. and I'm oh, like, whoa, yeah. okay. That's another thing, sleeping. That I feel like everyone judges. Like I everyone's love, got, I love everyone's got judgment that. about like how they should sleep, how they should sleep, when they should sleep, how yeah. they should sleep. Like, what are they wearing? What are they, they got wearing? Duvet? Da, 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 oh, this da, and that. Like, is the window open? Yeah. Are they, da, da, da. It's just like, bro, you do what you have to do, and you do it how you want to do it. There's a reason yes. we're the mums. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's a lot. Like, it's my kid. Yeah, literally. I don't know if anybody knew, but I'm the one who brought them into the world. Mm. Not you. It's crazy. I feel like new parents, they don't, I feel like someone needs to say to new parents, like, and I do this all the time now, especially when I'm on like live, I'd be like, you had her. It's, you're the one that knows what's best for your kid. You know, there's no one else that knows what's best for your kid than you. But don't you feel like that comes with experience? Because I remember, I remember like my mom saying that to me that like, yeah. you know, it will get, e that it will get easier and all of that. When you're in a dark place but when you're in it and you can't even navigate the day yeah. why the hell are you telling me this it's, it's not gonna get better it's true i'm going to die oh, no, literally no. that sounds so dramatic but honestly i should just think there's no positive here I, at some point for me there was no light at the end of the tunnel honestly it, was, it felt like okay i'm gonna be sleep deprived for the rest, rest of, of my, my life, life. Yeah. yeah like but you're forgetting that it's a struggle for the first two three years yes and then after that it's actually all right. They're growing into yeah. adults, Honestly. and it's like we are sh we are stressing so much over like just a small amount of time in their yeah. life. Yeah, and then they grow up. Yeah, and then we're gonna be missing them. Yeah, being that small. Yeah, I saw a video the other Why? day of a woman who who said something about her house is always so clean, and then she went through all the bedrooms and was like. I remember when there used to be clothes all over the floor in this bedroom and I'd be mm. telling my kid, why don't you just clean up after yourself? And then she went into another room and was like, oh, I remember when I used to have to make this bed 10 times a day, but I've made this bed once and nobody's touched it in months. Mm. And then she was like, oh, and then this is the kitchen. It's completely clean now, but I remember when there was dishes everywhere and it was all chaotic and it was all madness. And literally I cried by the end of the video. Yeah. And she was like, 
I remember when my house was absolutely chaotic and people would come around and I'd be apologising. I'm so sorry for the mess. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry for the mess. Like, yeah. sorry, ignore the mess. Yeah. And now my house has been so clean, but it is so, so lonely. quiet. quiet. It's so lonely because mm. all her kids are grown up and moved out. And I watched that video and by the end of it, I was sobbing. Yes. I was like... <laughs> yeah, I can't watch it. You see when when it starts on TikTok, I just swipe. Because I'm like, if I sit and watch the Abby in the gutter, I'll go and take my son out of his cot and be like, just hug me. Yeah, I was so, so triggered. Up. I actually was yeah. like, I need to go hug my kid. Like, it's yeah. mad. Yeah. That triggered me. That video fully Honestly, triggered me. And do you it's know, such a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. Motherhood. When it comes to like keeping the house tidy and stuff, I can't lie to you. Like, if you see the state of my living room, mm -hmm. she has a massive like toy storage basket. Yeah, or so whatever. yeah, so yeah. She's got hella toys in there. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And I, they never end, in it? The toys, they bro, just never end. I throw them away so when they sleep. So many toys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. If they're watching this, kids, I've thrown away your dinosaur. Listen. I do. I don't have the heart to throw away things yet. I haven't the reached dinosaur. that stage yet. Give me a couple months yeah. and you I might You should see me. No, but I see it as money. Like, I've spent a lot of money on this shit, man. I'm just going to keep, we'll just keep it for a couple of months. But I'm going to spend more money. Like, it just doesn't stop. That's true. It's true. It's true. I've got to a point now where... I don't give a shit how messy the living room is. Mm. Me too, I used to care. I, don't I used to care, anymore. I can't lie. Mm. I don't give a shit now. Why? Because, you know, when I see like a messy house and her toys are everywhere, I'm thinking to myself, she's having a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she's having fun. She's playing. Imagine if I'm constantly cleaning after her and then she's taking the toys out again and yeah. then I'm cleaning after her yeah. again. I'm just giving myself more work. Yes. <laughs> you know, she triggered me the other day. Hannah triggered me the other day, yeah. She like put all her toys like upside down, you know, the basket mm. was like completely upside down. Like she shook it upside down like that. And then I looked at it and I was like, okay. And then it was like bedtime. I was like, oh, tidy up time. And she was like, okay, let's tidy up mommy. Mm -hmm. She started putting them away. She put like three quarters of them away. The other half, like other, th the other quarter was still on the floor, but she like shoved it to one corner. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's good enough. Yeah. The next morning, I didn't touch it. I looked at this. I was like, okay. I went and did my own thing. I tidied mm -hmm. up the kitchen, mm -hmm. whatever. Like I, I was watching Netflix. I was on TikTok Live, whatever. The next day, she walks in and she goes, "Oh, what a mess." Why did they say that? She went, "What a that my mess." My three-year-old says the same thing. And I wow. looked at her and I was like, "You motherfucker!" Literally, this is your mess. Does she go to nursery? Yeah. Yeah, they, it's got to be a nursery thing. Because oh, he comes into I my room so and says triggered. it. I was so triggered. Yes. <laughs> now it's getting to, it's it's getting cheeky. It's getting now. personal now. Do you know what I mean? This is personal. Okay, in the communal <laughs> space that you play, okay. Now you need to mind your business. Yes. Yeah. Because you've come in here, yeah, and yes, yeah, there's yeah. pants on the floor <laughs> and things that shouldn't be in here. But how dare you? He goes, "What a mess, <laughs> mummy! What a mess!" And then he walks she out. Does that to me. Instead of oh. me to help. She does that to me. Nah. It's so I triggering. Said when, he, when he hits four, brother, you're on the chore list now. <laughs> Go and do the dishes. Because how dare you? Yeah, they do it. That's very, very rude. Yeah, but they don't say it nice and clean when you've cleaned. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. She doesn't walk in there when <laughs> I'm tidying up every day. I'm sensing. Wow, so clean. Yeah. I don't thank hear that. Thank you. Not even a thank you, mummy. I just can't. My son does the same thing. He goes, mm. tidy up time. Then he walks <laughs> off. Hannah goes, oh, it's messy. <laughs> they do. They, it's got to be nursery. She's like, she's, she goes, she goes, so much on the floor. Yeah. Whoa! And who caused that mess? Oh. Please. And you I'm think like, I want all your things to be it's here. It's you, bro. Yeah. It was all you. You're looking at me like, why didn't I tidy up yeah. after you? Yeah. Sometimes I look at, you know, like when you see like living room pictures on like Pinterest and stuff, and they've got like lovely ornaments and like, you know, <laughs> glass vases. I think, oh, lovely. I could never. If you see where our candles are, they're in the sky. We've had to put them up high up in no. the sky because the kids, ooh, they're going to touch everything. Oh, listen, sis, I've got, um, I wanted the candles, but I thought, no. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so I got those um, LED ones. Yeah. That looks like it's flickering. Yeah. yeah. Banging. Yeah. You get it from Amazon mm -hmm. and you get one big one. No, my someone put that in his small. mouth. Oh, sick. And I put it on like floating shelves like this. Yeah. That's and, nice. And I used the remote control and I'm like, flicker the candles. Yeah. And it looks like it's real <laughs> candles. Oh, that's lovely. It's amazing, honestly. Yeah. Get the LED ones. No, we've got candles because we don't want to put the heating on. That's basically oh, yeah. cost of living. Cost of living. Yeah. Cause he lives. It's Real. to make the house more nice and Real. to warm that section up. I'm scared. Do you know what I figured out? That Candles actually warms up the yard. Mm. Have you got a gas cooker or electric cooker? Gas. 
oh my god every time i use my gas cause my heart my house is hot yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. i'm like bro why am i turning on the heat and when true. i could just cook yeah it's true <laughs> cook or if you're grilling something or just leave the oven door open oh, if you don't lovely. have kids do you know the other leave day leave the oven door yeah. open your whole kitchen and live everywhere yeah, hot. the other yeah. day my whole that the, it was a communal problem mm -hmm. where there was no heating in the whole place the, the whole oh building had gosh. no heating and i was sitting there going with like two hoodies on like uh, a robe on oh and i was gosh. freezing and luckily hannah's with my mom so i yeah. was like i was okay that i thought yeah. that was just me freezing yeah. yeah and then i was like wait a minute i've got a gas cooker yeah i turned on all four of them within 10 minutes my whole yard was hot Oh my god! So I was like, "This is smart. Why yeah. didn't I think of that before?" Yeah. I was just like freezing, like an idiot. Yeah, but you don't you don't think of that though, do you? You just think I'm cold. I was literally sat there shivering. Yeah. I was like, "No, no, no!" When I'm cold, I can't think. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can't physically Same. like. I can't explain it. It's like I'm, I can't. I can't. I lose my I'm only sense. thinking about the fact I'm cold. I'm just sitting there <laughs> yeah. like this, and I'm like, I'm big thirty. My fingertips are cold in my own house. In your own Something's house. Something's got to give. This is very, very bad. It's, yeah, it's what the, we're doing it's the ghetto. It's the yeah, ghetto. it's the absolute ghetto. Like um. Hot water bottles in my baby girl. Oh my God, I love I heat hot her. Water I take her to bed with me. I love in her it. little bag. I'm like, come on, darling, let's go to bed. <laughs> me and you, darling. Yeah, it's crazy. This is a good conversation. Oh, Can you pass the crisps? Of course. Yes. Sorry, I just wanted to open this. I love. Oh my God, There's something wrong with me. Why would I pass it that way? Do you want some? No, my Invisalign. Oh, take them off. Take them off. Take them out. Yolo, yolo, yolo. Take them you know out. I mean, I can't, I can't not have a snack. Hold on. Where's my case? My cousin introduced me to these the other day. What are they? I, I don't know, wafers. But I, I took one bite and I was like... Oh my God, I love a good wafer. Me <sighs> I said, where did you get these? You see she stuff goes, like that, I can't buy it. The corner shop. Because I'll eat the whole thing. I eat the whole thing, 100%. Yeah, with a cup of tea. Yeah. yeah. But there's only like, I what, really don't buy 30 yeah. of them in here, 25, 30 of them. Jeez, it's them. not a lot. It's not a lot. <laughs> oh my God.